What's going on everybody? What's going on? 27 Squad and the Hub Watchers. <laughs> What's going on? We're back with another live stream. Uh, another, I guess, uh, a watch party, I guess, for the G uh, New York Giants games. This time, I guess, the Dallas Cowboys Week 5 at Jerry World, I believe, right? At, at Jerry World? It's, it's, it is indeed at, at Jerry World. Yeah, this one's at Jerry World. So, um, a, a lot of a lot of potential in this game for the Giants. It's probably the most winnable game for the Giants so far this season. Um, but doesn't mean necessarily that we have a great shot at winning it. Some may think otherwise, but uh, I'm still... I'm still uh, waiting to, to, to give the Giants that okay to say, hey, I think you'll win this game. Um, I believe they're nine and a half point underdogs. Um, I I haven't even checked. Honestly, that's that's low key kind of disrespectful. Yeah. But I mean, I can't blame them for being disrespectful. If that yeah. makes any sense. I I honestly think, I honestly think they they could cover the uh, the spread. What do you think? Well before you get into it, right, I think yeah. you should actually, since you didn't have a chance to make a preview video, sort of give us like a mini preview now before the game begins. You know, we got we got like, what, like seven minutes. I think you could cover it in that time. You know, your thoughts on oh, yeah. it, you know, your thoughts on Teron Smith being out, O'Shane Zimenez being out, in general, how you feel about the game, and your score prediction yeah. if you got any. Real quick, I want to say, since everybody already saw mine, the only thoughts I have to share right now is it's weird that it's week five and only now we're facing a divisional opponent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, that that is very weird, huh? Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, quickly, I wasn't able to make a preview video. Sorry about that, guys. And I will be addressing you guys in the comments through my phone because every time I go off of it, you guys can see it now. It just goes to black screen. So don't know why it does that, but I have to stay on Streamyard, and I'm not really streaming on Streamyard. I'm using OBS to do it. So don't know why that is, but it is what it is. Um, so I'll be looking at the uh. Comments through the phone, but quick little preview for you guys, I guess. Um, listen, this this game is I never seen a matchup with total polar opposites in my life. You look at the Giants' offense; they're almost dead last in every offensive they, category. They are, yeah. They so the are. Giants' offense is thirty second overall. The Cowboys' defense is thirty second overall. Right, and then and then um, you know complete opposite on the other side, where the Giants' defense is just about top fifteen to top ten in every category, and then uh, the Dallas offense is like the the top of every category on offensive uh, for, from an offensive standpoint. So it's going to be clash of the titans when Dallas's offense uh, is on the field and Giants' defense, uh, but it's going to be an absolute crapshoot <laughs> when when the Giants offense is on the field and the Dallas defense something's got to give at that point right um, a, a little bit like ray of hope right. um for you guys is that the the Giants um offense rushing wise is a 31st overall but mm -hmm. then the Dallas defense rushing wise is also 31st overall so if there's this is the best defense we're going up or like the best chance we have yeah. to actually have the run game going all like all season because it's like evenly matched so to speak but also, Dallas's rushing offense is 23rd overall, which is lower than I thought it was. Yeah, Ezekiel Elliott is really having a terrible, terrible year this year. I think, he's, I think he leads the league in fumbles, doesn't he? Or leads the league in I, running backs fumbles. I think he has I like might, three. He might. Yeah, he, he has a few this year, and he's not... Well, he ain't known for that, so yeah. I don't know what's happening. And I don't even think he's close to being a leading rusher in the NFL this year. I don't even think he's top five or even top ten. So, um, so yeah, I mean, Dallas is definitely not what they found a new identity. And this is something I mentioned back in the offseason with those new wide receivers. How can you not, uh, you know, target them? And with Mike McCarthy being uh, a gunslinging type of uh, schematic offensive mind, um, you know, I, I would expect him to go, you know, to, to use those wide receivers a lot more often, especially with the addition of C.D. Lamb and, you know, coming off a really good year with Amari Cooper going over a thousand yards, same thing with Michael Gallup. I mean, like I said, Michael just, Gallup, I feel like, is one of the most underrated wide receivers Right, in the he's, de he's definitely underrated, has some very good hands, and especially he catches a lot of 50-50 balls as well down the field, um, and, and they rely on him heavily. heavily. And then C.D. Lamb is, every single week, C.D. Lamb is starting to get a lot more looks, a lot more targets. I guess uh, he He's starting to get more accustomed in the offense. Dak Prescott is now trusting him more. So, I mean, this is this is going to be a very tough game. Don't get me wrong, guys. So don't think I'm giving you guys the wrong idea here. It is very Ooh, winnable. Member alert. Member alert. We've got a new member, uh, actually a reoccurring member, Asia Roberson. Thank you so much for re uh, resubscribing. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much, Asia Roberson, for uh, the gold tier membership. You are awesome, Asia. Um, thank you so much for the uh, membership. Cowboys X Factor in the building, a very uh, great subscriber of mine on the other side, on, uh, on the Dallas side. Yo. 
Cowboy X Factor is the friendliest Cowboys fan yeah, I've he's, ever like. He's, talked he's to. awesome, and and he yeah, he's very real. He, he's a realist. So he said, uh, actually, Kid Blue and Hub Zeke had fumbling issues his rookie year back in 2016. I do remember something like that, but you know, you wouldn't think Ezekiel Elliott being as great as he is having a really bad fumbling issue, and not only that, just as soon as he gets paid, just his production just drops down a cliff. Um, it, I mean, 2016 it, seems so long ago, too, I'm going to be honest. Right, it does seem that long ago. But um, quickly, Cowboys X Factor, let me know how many total fumbles he does have. Um, I, that's very interesting to note because we're only in the fifth week of the season, basically four, only four games have been played, and he, I believe he has he's averaging like a fumble per game, which is not good from a uh, supposed to be your star running back. So wait a minute, what's happening here? Because I'm on CBS right now, and it's like they're still showing the uh, Kansas City Vegas Raiders game. So is the Giants game going to be pushed back, or are they going to switch over when the time comes? Uh, they're probably going to switch over. They, they never push back games when there's another game. So um, okay, we'll then. just have to wait there. Um, yeah, it says something to get CBS. That's so stupid. If, if any of you guys are looking for the channel, it's on CBS. I don't know why. I don't know why. This should yeah. be, I know it shouldn't be America's Game of the Week, obviously, because these, these both these teams' combined wins are one. So, um, not, not the best America Game of the Week, but at the same time, it's Giants and Cowboys for crying out loud. And, and, and you know, Troy, that. it's an NFC game, it should be on Fox, right? Right. And you know, Troy Aikman and Joe Buck always commentate this game, and they obviously do America's Game of the Week. So, um, yeah, not 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 all not that great. But uh, I'm still waiting here. I'm I watched Sunday Ticket and I'm still waiting. They're still not showing the broadcast. So you're right. They're probably still showing that Kansas City game. How much? How many minutes are left in that game? I'm on commercial right now. Uh, I could just gonna have to wait wait for it to pop back up. I'm still on commercial here. Ah, oh, it sucks. But um, yeah, we might we might not even be just like last year. Wasn't it last year? I mean, not last year in 2018, I believe. Uh, the Giants were facing some team. Um, I forgot who it was. It was early in the season. I think this was the the Texans game, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. Um, but Texans was week three. Yeah, week three back in 20. I believe so. That was our first win, right? Mm-hmm. But um, I believe it was like an Indianapolis game, or maybe it was Indianapolis versus Texans. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but they they were showing that game, and the, we missed the Giants like like one and a half quarters. Somebody is gonna mention. Somebody is gonna remember here. Um, oh my god if they actually do that that's that's ridiculous right right like do not cut out one game to show a game that's going a little long bro that makes no sense i, I remember what you're talking about i can't remember what game it was but i do remember that that occurring yeah so, somebody yeah it was somebody could remember that because that indianapolis game i think it was indy versus texan so the giants were facing another opponent correct me if i'm wrong but um yeah, we missed like a whole one and a half quarter because that, that, that game went to overtime and it like went to the, all the way at the end of overtime. Everybody was like, we don't care about this damn game. Even even the New York, even the New York channels were uh, were showing that game over the Giants. So I'm trying to see where's the Giants versus Oh, okay, Cowboys it started. Game. Well, not, not started, but like the broadcast switched. Now I see Joe Judge. It looked like he got a haircut or something. Yeah, I'm trying to find, the, bro- I'm trying to find the broadcast because uh, on, okay, go to new channel. There we go. Uh, so apparently right, Philadelphia in the lead of the NFC East, 1-3-1. One, and one. In the division, they're on one though. Oh, the kickoff is starting. Wow. It's starting? It's, oh. Yeah, kickoff kickoff is like... And now all of a sudden I'm at a commercial, so I don't know what they're doing. I'm looking for the channel. It's not showing me the channel. Of Giants versus Cow- It's blacked out. It's blacked out on the red zone. It means it's showing somewhere, but it's not showing me where it's at. Uh, for is... some reason, it just cut to like a local commercial. I'm not sure why. This is ridiculous. And now it's back. This is ridiculous. They, so, had, they they don't, they need to get their 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 scheduling correct, man. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. The Cowboys are allowing what you call the people in the stadium. Oh yeah. I forgot. Yeah, it's it's like obviously sparse crowds and whatnot, but damn, they they are allowing people in the stadium. Hmm. I got. I'm gonna have to search for it. Oh, Jim, we got Jim Nance and Tony Romo. Yeah, so I told at you. Least it's not. It's not terrible. Yeah, I I, I knew it would be them. All right, Graham Gano uh, lining up. Uh, there we go. He's showing the hand signal. And the, the kick is off. I can't find the channel. I'll I'll cover for you until you do. Hopefully you find it soon. 
Um, Dak Prescott is coming we, out onto the field. We've got it, but they they're showing commercial right now of the game. Oh, okay. don't tell me. Oh man, I won't be able to see. It. I'm still because I'm in Florida, so it's not it's not automatically shifting to the Giants game. So I'm watching the end of this freaking Las uh, Vegas game. Jesus, I'll, uh, I'll cover for you in the meanwhile. Right, I'll, to... I'll do my best, guys. Bear with me. I'm not like used to play by play. <laughs> um, we got Dak Prescott out here. Uh, Zeke in the backfield. All right, uh, my my football knowledge is not on par with uh, KB, so I don't know the scheme that well. Fake it to Zeke. Oh. And CeeDee Lamb drops a pass. One giant got in the face of Dak Prescott. There, nice pressure on him, but that ball was delivered actually really well. CeeDee just dropped it. As we got the uh, Tyler Biotish is starting at center. They put the rookie wow. out there starting. Wow. Yeah, I believe, I believe their, their starting center got hurt, if I'm not mistaken. Their starting center is hurt, and Teron Smith is out for the season as Dak passes it to number 86. A run rollout pass. Nice tackle there by 30 on the Giants. Dallas Schultz. Darnay Holmes in on the tackle there. I Man. think that's probably like a four or five yard reception. Oh, no, a six yard reception. It's third and four now. We got Lorenzo Carter and Kyler Fackrell starting since O'Shane is out. Yeah, so for everybody that's joining in the chat, apologize. Uh, I apologies uh, to you guys. I'm waiting for this game to actually show oh, up on my Oh, Kyler looked like he might have got out there early, but there was no flag. Y'all, there's the flag. Yeah, I'm like, Kyler definitely jumped. It looks like there's a flag in the secondary, though. So this might be a flag on Kyler Fackrell for jumping early and then maybe some type of roughing in the secondary here. Let's hear what it is. Their, uh, league, the officials are conferring with each other. Freaking Didn't really man. seem to be any type of like helmet to helmet contact. I heard something in my ear, but I'm not sure. KB, what if you tune into like a Reddit stream in the meantime? Uh, I I can't. I have to, that's my computer. I have to use my computer. Uh Mike McCarthy out here, looking bigger each week that we see him. Two fouls. This is ridiculous. <clears throat> and we're seeing, seeing what so yeah there was two flags on the play both of them on the defense the giants in the past two weeks now have gotten a lot more sloppy with these fouls here there was an offsides on collar fackle which the cowboys declined and then there was unnecessary roughness i think on tay crowder i'm not sure i didn't catch that second number there but two fouls in the giants defense too much and the cowboys are already on our like 36 yard line or something Waiting for this this Vegas game to end. They're getting up the two minute warning right now. Oh, you might be there for like a good ten minutes more. Oh God, it's ridiculous. As Zeke rushes for three yards, Giants defense, come on now, be better than this. I know you guys can be better than this. It looks like they might be running it again. No, it's not. It is in pass to CD Lamb. What is Logan Ryan doing? Logan Ryan looked like he had a nice pathway to tackle CD, and he got turned around by his own self. And CD gets the first down just like that. I got an idea. Let me see if the NFL app shows it. They always show a random game. Dak takes the snap. Pitch it to Zeke. Nice tackle there by Logan Ryan. Making up for his mishap on the earlier play. I told y'all I dreamt that Logan Ryan had a pick six. So hopefully he does have a pick six. <laughs> This man came in like a bullet, got Zeke on just one tackle. Zeke is not an easy running back to tackle. Second and eight here. Ezekiel ah. Elliott is currently the lowest uh, through first four games in his entire career, just 273 yards. What's your what's your uh, minutes on? 1242, 1241. Oh, Danny, I'm at 1143. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I, I'm looking at my phone. Uh, they're showing the game on the, the app. Which app? The NFL app. The NFL app? Yeah, the NFL app has a, it shows one game, and I think it's your favorite game, so uh, your favorite team. Okay, now I'm at 11.38. There's a flag on the play. Yeah. 94 Thompson's helmet is off. Hopefully that's a flag on the Dallas offense. So, oh wait, I'm at 11.36 now with the flag. Where are you? Oh, yeah, I've been on that. But it's, it's, it's the game is finishing now. They're at ten seconds. They're letting their clock run out. Vegas comes out with the win.
Joe Judge denies the uh, offensive penalty so that it goes to third down. But the Cowboys are right here knocking on the end zone, man. Uh, so since you got it on your phone, you want to take back over play calling then? Well, I'm way ahead of you, so I'm not. I, I'm not going to keep the the mojo going. Don't worry, just keep commentating the game. It's it's going to show up in a second. All right, then. You can about to see CD amazing. going to the left. Dak takes the snap. He passes it, tosses up for Ceedee Lamb. Nice play there. Is that Logan Ryan again? That is Darnay no, Holmes. Number thirty, Darnay Holmes, the rookie matchup. Yo, Darnay Holmes preventing that touchdown pass. A great play by the rookie man. That was a. Was, yeah, that was a matchup that I was really uh, looking forward to. Yeah, he just got his hands up. I'm telling you, bro, that's that James Bradbury tutelage right there, getting the hands up in the receiver's face. Lorenzo Carter is hurt. Oh, God. <laughs> Please tell me. Lorenzo Please Carter's tell hurt. me that he's just going to be out for a couple of drives because we already got O'Shane hurt. Don't worry, guys. Hey. We're going to our regular schedule uh, schedule program soon. As I think after this commercial break, uh, we'll be back at it. Lorenzo, please. You've been performing so good, my guy. Please. Please, Lorenzo. Lorenzo. He's been he's been really good this season. He's at two fifty five now, so he did put on a good amount of muscle. Yeah. Yeah, I believe he was at like two forty. I don't know. Oh man, he's like very very slow to get up. Where did he get injured? I'm so con. Oh nah, bro. Did you see the way his knee buckled? Oh, it's another ACL. If it's another ACL, this is crazy. If his knee his buckled, knee that's buckled. ACL. If his knee buckled, that's ACL. Because like nobody like tackled. They're bringing out the cart, bro. Yep, it's. it's... Oh come <laughs> on, man. Oh, this is just the Giants' way, you man. You gotta be kidding me. This is just the Giants' Lorenzo way. Carter was having such a good season. He was having a really nice season, and we're now. All of a sudden, a position that we had a lot of people back there, you know, quantity-wise, we were stacked at outside linebacker. Now we're, we're getting thin at outside linebacker. How many freaking commercials? Are you kidding me? The game ended like five minutes ago. We're still watching a commercial. Oh, my God. They brought the card out, bro. He's lying down on the card. He can't even walk. Yeah, Lorenzo Card definitely tore his ACL. Remember, remember, that, remember that Saquon game? I told you guys, that if, a knee, if you see a knee buckle with non-contact, that's ACL. Automatically torn ACL. He doesn't look like he's in much pain, so I don't know. Hopefully, Listen, it's like Saquon a did, or something. Saquon didn't either, man. Saquon held it in pretty well. He wasn't crying. Oh God, damn, bro. We we were stacked out outside linebacker quantity wise. Mm -hmm. Now we're very thin in that position. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Marcus Golden that comes in for him. So we got like Golden and Fackrell out there as our two starters. But who do we have behind them? Carter Coughlin. Carter Coughlin, who's, who's well, like probably, technically still on the injury like injury report. We're gonna have to pull somebody from the practice squad. I don't know who we have. I think Nico. Um, what, what's his name? Uh, Cam Brown. Cam Brown. Nico Lalo. Who's the middle linebacker that we switched to outside? Yeah. Well, I the, don't know how the outside was guy we switched to middle linebacker, so he's gonna have to get back to his regular position. Oh no no yeah yeah no no no, no, no yeah 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 he was a middle outside. linebacker turned outside yeah. yeah yeah. This is gonna hit the Giants defense hard because. It's going to be hard to maintain the, like, honestly, the elite ranking we've had so far with two of our starting pass rushers out now. Lorenzo just went out with his injury. Right. If I see oh, another man. commercial, how long have I been here? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. It's 435, and I think I've been watching commercials since 429. I'm not joking. Uh, uh, Josh Valencia. Josh in the chat Valencia. With, with chat. So, what's going on, Josh Valencia? He said, what's up, kid? Blue in a hub. We up 14 to 0 and who uh, they're facing San Francisco. Nice. Listen, Miami's Miami's getting better, man. It's may, maybe that's a, some hope for the Giants because we all thought that coach um that The coach, Giants are getting week, better week by week, but then it's right. like every single week we have a new injury. This but, is getting ridiculous. Yes, like finally, how many Giants players are injured here. now? The Giants give us here. I'm going to when when they go out for the field goal um attempt, let me know. They already took the field goal for me. Oh, okay, they all already took the field goal. Dang it. Yeah, now they're now they're setting up to kick it back to the Giants. Wow, you're way ahead of me. This is live. I'm I'm gonna see when the timestamp comes up, and I'll let you know what time it's at. But I'm getting so concerned oh, I now. Fast because... forward all this. Hold on. I need to fast okay, forward. yeah, I'm getting so concerned now, guys, because we're having a lot of injuries. This is really bad. So, the kick is off, and Ballantyne lets it goes over his head. Yep. 
DJ is coming onto the field. They have his stats up, two touchdowns, five interceptions, two fumbles lost. Yeah. All right. Let me know when they take the snap. I'm, I'm, at, the, I'm at their snap. Yeah, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I'm just, I'm just so concerned about this. Oh, my God. These goddamn injuries, bro. This is really... I'm more goddamn. Uh, my confidence is shaking. I won't lie, guys. And they take the snap. All right. So it's uh, Devontae Freeman up the nine. middle for a nice run. It's a nine-yard gain, nine-and-a-half-yard gain for Devontae Freeman. Um, starting off strong there. A lot of people were telling me that that uh, they're going to start him in fantasy this week. I didn't think they should, but, um, hey, maybe he's off to a good start here. Kid Blue, how, how effective do you think our defense is now, man? Because we're – what do you think is happening now with the injuries, man? How effective is the defense? Well, we lost Lorenzo Carter. He's a big piece, but um, if we're coached well, they'll be all right. Uh, oops, did I just – I just took you off the stream. What the hell? You just got kicked off the stream. <laughs> all right, so here's hear another you. pass here for Darius Slayton, and Slayton gets to the 45. Thank you. And Jer we're finally Jason utilizing Garrett. Look Darius at that. Slayton. Finally Look at that. utilizing Darius Slayton. He's getting him involved early. Wow, Jason Garrett only took you five weeks. We like that. We like so we, we get a, a run and then a Darius Slayton reception. So already off to a great start as he's trying to beat his former team. Welcome into the stream, guys. Now the stream's really starting. Now we got both the commentary here, the play-by-play -play and the color. We are back. Um, what's what's your what's your time at real quick? I'm at 10:10. 10, 10, 10, okay, I'm at 10:06. Let me. I'm at 10:06. All right. So we got Daniel Jones set, trying to set up the screen here for Devontae Freeman. Has he has open room here? The flag is down. He gets flag. close to the first down marker. I just want to say, flag down. whatever the flag is on, that's good on both Daniel and Devontae avoiding the rushers coming at them. Right. So guys, every time I change the score, don't worry. You'll see our faces again. Uh, I don't know what's going on with my uh, stream yard, but that's that's what it's doing. So uh, now we are back. Oh my God, bro! It's a flag on your guy. Jesus Christ! Oh God! Yeah, Nick Gates. What do you? What, what else do you know? Block in the back. You gotta be kidding me, man! What? What, what is? What is? What, what is with Nick Gates, bro? But what's with Listen, the Giants? His, his days are numbered here in New York as a starting center. I'm telling you right now, his days are numbered. They have no uh, affiliation. No, Look no, at Jason no, Garrett no being buddy buddy with, with the Cowboys, by the way. Oh, I, I mean, I'd be fine with it. I'm fine with it. I'm telling you, he's secretly working for them. First down and 20, Devontae Freeman in motion. Daniel Jones rolls right, looking for a receiver, trying to set something up. Just throws the ball out of nowhere and tries to get it out to a Giants receiver who is down and hurt. We have a yeah. flag down on the field as well. I was well. going to say, I don't like the way he threw that ball so high and then the receiver literally just fell down, bro. Yep. So flag down the field is a personal foul. Roughing the passer on de uh, I mean uh, on the defense. That's gonna help the Giants out. I thought it would be on the uh, on the, uh, the Giants, down. but that's Joe Thomas running right into Daniel Jones. I'm assuming we'll see this instant replay here. Oh yeah, he yeah did. he ran right into him. But at the same time, I think he uh, that's momentum that you can't stop. That's yeah, that's petty. He tried to stop it. He like he didn't even put his arms up at all. I mean, he hit him with his chest. So yeah. not not intentionally either. He was trying to stop himself. So. I mean, and not... I said in my preview video, there's only one linebacker we have to worry about for the Cowboys this weekend. It's Jalen Smith. Right. And he's not even having a great year as well. So Giants line up in the strong eye formation here as they take the snap. Power run for Devontae Freeman. He's going to get up about two yards there as they pass midfield to the 47-yard line. As now they're going, cutting to a little graphic here. The, yeah, the Giants, look at that, exactly what I, we were talking about before. Giants defense ranking fifth. Cowboys offense ranking first. You look on the other side, the Giants offense are tied for last and the Cowboys defense 30th in the NFL. So, like I said, it's a complete clash of the Titans on one side and then a complete crapshoot on the other. I just hope that what you said holds true, and that is that our defense remains as good as it is without pieces like Lorenzo Carter in there. Right, second down and eight, play clock winding down to one, and Devontae Freeman will take the nice handoff, and run. Freeman was gonna, is going to get the first down. Passing the 40-yard line to the 38. The Cowboys have the 31st-ranked rushing defense, so they need to take advantage of it. 
Wow, love it. For those of you guys that are wondering, we are a little delayed here. We are streaming this game, so this is why it's a little delayed. Uh, we ask that you guys don't spoil it and because there's people watching with us as well. And for those of you guys that want to get synced up with us, we're at 815, 814, 813, 812. Shout out to everybody in the chat, by the way. Sorry we haven't really been able to get to y'all, but it's, it's, it's going good so far. Yeah, first down and 10. Daniel Jones under center. We've got two tight ends here, uh, two wide receivers. As we get a we get a flea flicker here that looked like it just, it was terrible. Whoa, but it was Darius Slayton Tony still Toe gets Taps. the first down. Tony Toe Taps, Darius Slayton, bro. Toe I'm Tap so drag happy. swag. We are involving him so early, bro. I love it. Look at that. Down. He got his feet down. He's clear. Oh, my God. Darius Slayton submitting his application to the 10 toes down challenge with the Tony Toe Taps prime Antonio Brown impression right there, man. I was telling Hub before the stream, before we started streaming, something's got to give on that other side that we were talking about. Is the Giants offense really that bad or the Dallas defense really that bad? Something's got to give here. And now we're coming out in a three tight end set. If I'm not, yeah, three tight end set here. Power run. And that was a play action. Daniel Jones looking downfield, almost getting a sack and dumping it off to Devontae, Devontae! Freeman, oh, who's about damn, to get into bro. the end zone, but it stopped There's short. There's a flag on the field, though. I, th I thought for sure this, you know what? Might be a I, holding. I slipped back into the Giants having a good run game and it being Saquon. I was like, he's definitely making the end zone. We might be getting, this might be coming back here. The flag is down oh. right near the line of scrimmage here. Let's check this out. Yeah. Oh, defense oh, it's on holding. the defense. Beautiful. Penalty declined, and we're going to take that first down, down to the five. I just want to say, Kid Blue, Jason Garrett is doing what he needed to he, do. We he said, hey, bro, defense. stick to the run. He's sticking to the run. We said, hey, bro, involve your number one. He's involving right. his number one. And, and, and great job by Daniel Jones not forcing it. Caden Smith was... Just a slight bit open, um, but he chose to dump off. It was wide open, and it worked out for us. Down to the three-yard line. Great job by Jones Yo, leading this offense down. are we getting down. a touchdown? We haven't gotten Shane an Lemieux, touchdown. Hold on, season. but Shane Lemieux is lined up at fullback, so let's check this one out. Uh, we got a flip pass here. What the hell? Evan Ingram into the end zone. Touchdown, oh. Giants. This is the first opening touchdown of the season. Oh, my God. Yo, Kid Blue, you know what this means, bro? I have to put on a jersey now. I can't. Should we that get was our jerseys? the deal. Should we get our jerseys? They get a touchdown. I put on hold the on, jersey. Let me change oh, the score, my guys, God. Give and me we'll get our jerseys. Let me, hold on. Let's stay right here. Let's change, let's change the score here. Let's get our jerseys. I'm going to put it seven because I'm assuming the Giants uh, convert the extra point. So be right back, guys. You guys can get hype all you want. I'm going to go get my jersey. Hub, go ahead and commentate while I'm gone. Shocky, 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 baby. Shocky, shocky, shocky. The jersey is up and on, guys. This Giants offense looks good in the opening drive, man. Oh, my God, guys. I love it. I love it. I love it, guys. I, I see Kid Blue went to get his own jersey as well. This is what I'm talking about, man. The Giants offense out here doing that work, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the flip pass. This was the flip pass that we wanted to see. I think it was against the Rams, right? Was that the one that was fumbled? Against the Rams. Jason Garris has the cojones, the balls to freaking do it again. But this time the Giants execute. Great job at Evan Ingram also escaping that tackle for loss. Good job by him. He's probably the only tight end in the NFL that can do that. But uh, thank God he say, caught the ball yo. this time. Jason Garrett, were you actually using the first four weeks as your preseason? That's the you question. Stuck to the yeah, run. That's the question. You, you stuck to the run, and Darius Slayton was the main receiver. He was the only receiver, actually. Daniel Jones only had two pass attempts. Both of them were completed to Darius Slayton. So, I mean, hey, Jason Garrett, bro, come on now. Hold it together. Hold right. it together. Right. Giants defense. Now, yo, Patrick Graham, I called you one, one of the most elite defensive coordinators in the game because – you don't have much talent on that Giants defense, but you're producing a lot. You got to continue and live up to that title I gave you, man. Now that the Giants defense is going to be back out here. Yeah, this is going to be, now this is the real test. If the Giants can hold up in a shootout, now it's on the defense. You got to force a stop. You got to be able to force some punts. Because at the end of the day, if you still allow Dallas to get a lot of field goals, they're at late in the game, they will gas you out and they'll score some touchdowns. We have to keep Dallas from scoring Period. Forget about the field goals. Just keep them from scoring. Period. Start making. Start getting them hold. You know. Start holding them uh, before we get to midfield. 
That's but, uh, what I'm talking about. Bro, Dylan, it's Dylan crazy. Renner. Dylan Renner says trade value for Evan Ingram goes up. Let's go. <laughs> we love That's it. That's a fact. We love it. That's yeah. a fact. I still don't want him on the team, but hey, if you as long as he's helping us out, I'm not gonna <laughs> he'll, complain. He'll never win our respect, huh? <laughs> he's, not, he's gonna have to do a lot to win my respect back, yeah, bro. Yeah, he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to get be a top five tight end this year to really get me to say we should resign him. Uh, I'm looking at Giants fifth year. Twitter right now, and somebody tweeted out a meme like, yo, what year is it? The Giants scored a touchdown on opening drive. <laughs> yeah, right? What year is this? I don't even... The Giants never score. Uh, actually, if we go back to Jerry World last year in week one, Evan Ingram was the first one to score a touchdown. Uh, you know what, then? Pray that it doesn't go like last year. Yeah. Week one, because then the offense completely collapsed after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> Evan Ingram Let's... actually scored that first touchdown on the rollout. Yeah. I remember that game. Oh man, all right guys, let's let's play that it continues, man. Like I said, play guys, Jalen Smith has been uh struggling this year. Now he's looking at the uh the uh the tablet with his coordinators. So uh um, I do want to say though, man, the good shout out to Evan Ingram. He really could have gotten tackled and he was like, Nope. Yeah. Use his speed and agility. And guys, quick uh, little fun fact here. This is the Giants' fourth touchdown this year. <laughs> <laughs> let's get third. This is our fourth it, touchdown. No, it is our fourth. It is our fourth. Fourth touchdown. We have one yeah. rushing and two passing. So this is our fourth touchdown this year, guys. Can we get a uh, congratulations to the Giants in the chat, guys? Get, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. You can see here, all the offensive linemen for the Cowboys that are out. But right. we would we would have taken advantage of it if the Giants didn't have pass rushers out. Hopefully, we still can. You know, right. Williams and Lawrence are still out there. Golden and Fackrell are out there. Let's see if we could get some pressure here. Right, and in my opinion. Um, I, I think Marcus Golden filling in the role will be just fine. I think I think they'll be okay. I just think they'll just say, "Hey, you got to be out there longer than usual, probably longer no, than you it's were really last gonna year." It's going to be, "Hey, you're going to be out there like you were last year." I mean, right. I was asking for him to be out there more, but definitely not under these circumstances. Right, 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 right. All right. Yeah, so, you know, if if Golden could pick up right where he left off last year, then by all means. First down and ten here, six fifty three left to go in the first quarter. Dak Prescott under center, Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, roll out here and a pass off to number 80 of the jo- of the cowboy that's bell mm-hmm. and he is slow and he is slow to get up just a bit he oh, is he limping wanted. he hurt his knee it looks like he's going to be called off the field if i'm not mis- you know uh, i want to say know anything. golden would have had a free sack but he definitely got fooled by uh dax fake out there jabro peppers had an amazing tackle there he's the one that tackled bell for the first down 625 winding down We've got a handoff, on, slashing on, to the yeah. left is Ezekiel Elliott, but stopped quickly by who other than Jabril Peppers, his first That's game back I'm off an injury, about, and he has two straight tackles so far on this drive, second down and eight. 21 and 21, that's what I'm talking about, bro. Somehow, someway, the Giants' rushing defense is 11. We have to hold this rushing attack by the Cowboys. Right, completely completely um, right about that. We have a play action here for Dak Prescott looking downfield. It has oh, a lot of time, and there's an interception. It's Kyler Fackrell running down the sideline to the 20, no, no, no. to the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Giants! <laughs> what did I say I dreamt about, bro? What did I say I dreamt about? Didn't I say I dreamt that the Giants would get a pick six? You did. And we just got you a pick did. six. It wasn't the guy you said, but you did. It wasn't the did. guy I said, <laughs> but we got a pick six. Who would have thought Kyler Fackrell in coverage would get a touchdown here? Yo, listen. I, I, I'm i wow. a prophet, bro. We're going to assume that the PAT is good, guys. I'm putting it 14. If you guys are talking about it, sorry. Excuse I me. have prophetic dreams, man. Let's go. You guys heard it here first. Nah, you actually heard it here first, because I said it before the game we're going to get a pick six. Come on now. Love Come it. On now. Love it. Love it. Love it. Pick six, baby. Ooh, and look at Kyler God. reaching out like he's a running back or a receiver. Beautiful. Look at this man, Kyler Beautiful. Fackle. Look you know at this, this. You know what that reminded me man. of? You know what that reminded me of? The uh, the week six against Marcus Golden, uh, stri- you know, the strip sack fumble recovery uh, by Marcus Golden, who ran it back for a touchdown. That's what it reminded me of, like just dodging and juking everybody uh, to get to the end zone. The Giants are up 14. The Giants have scored more points today than they have in the past three weeks um, in total. In the past three weeks, not uh, combined, but... Um, they scored nine in the prior Ooh. two weeks, and in week two, they scored 13. The Giants now have scored 14 points today. Look at this man, bro. Yo, you know what, Kid Blue? It's a combination of what I said. I said Martinez will get a pick. He's the 
he's the Green Bay guy. And I said, Logan Ryan will get a pick six. My dream <laughs> was like, nah, bro. A, a Green Bay guy <laughs> hey, is going to get hey, a Hey, he pick gets credit because it, it was the wrong Green Bay. I think you saw Kyler, but you're like, Green Bay. I'm thinking Blake Martinez. Yeah. Still gonna cover you, know, it, right? you know, sometimes when it's blurry, a 51 could look like a 54 and whatnot. Right. You know what? Listen. Logan Ryan, uh, let's, everybody watch out for Logan Ryan. The hub had a dream he's going to get a pick as well. We're going to have to watch out for him or any number on the defense that looks like 23. Any number what a, what a great like... job. And I'll tell you right now, I got a little worried there. He, Dak Prescott had plenty of time to throw. The pass rush was not there. They got separated. Um, he looked like It looked like almost like he could run it for a couple of yards as well. He decided to throw it. Kyler Fackrell uh, going out in coverage. Um, and that's obviously what you guys get when in 3-4 defense. Sometimes, a lot of the times, you'll get a pass rusher going out in coverage. Um, I just want to say, Kyler Fackrell, obviously, way better in coverage than I think anybody expected right. to make that play. Right. And caught the ball cleanly. That wasn't even bobbled. And he caught the ball like very he, cleanly. He literally looked like like you described. Like he was a running back out there. The way he caught yeah. it, the way he ran it. Caught like a tight end, man. Nice. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is what we're talking about, bro. Oh, Kaden says, have y'all noticed how we've been down 17 to no every game other than week three and almost came back? Well, listen, man, hopefully we could maintain this lead right here. Giants, yeah. defense, bro. Shout out to Patrick Graham. He's a former linebackers coach. Shout out to the current outside linebackers coach, Brett Bielema, doing work. Yeah. So, so great, great job by this Giants uh, collective here. Uh, especially on the defensive side of the ball. And the offense, all obviously, um, props for, for getting the touchdown. Let's just hope that we can keep it now. Um, and that's obviously the half the battle right there, being able to keep the lead as Dallas um, has been known to come back. And he, they came back against Cleveland. They didn't win it. Yeah. They came back against Cleveland, and they did come back against Atlanta and wound up winning that game. They shouldn't have uh, because Falcons don't know how to get a <laughs> how to receive a onside kick, but um, they did come back in that game. Because I saw somebody said it. Somebody in the chat said, hopefully the defense doesn't get gassed. I, I agree. Let's, but the G, the defense had a lot of rest now. The Giants are right now dominating in time, time of possession. I think they should be. Powerful, bro. So this, here we go. Uh, jo Josh Valencia, thank you so much for the super chat, man. He says, let's go Giants from a Dolphins fan. Appreciate that, Josh Valencia. Both of our teams now have 14 points. Who would have known? Who would have known? Josh, yeah. Rich, Shout Rich. out to Josh. Now, who, who would have known that both our teams right now are combined for 28 points? Oh, I mean, who here, here's what we were talking about, Kid Blue. The Dallas Cowboys are known to come back. They're showing right now. They're always a slow right. starter. Right. They are they're slow always, starters, and they come back. Yeah, they're always firing on all cylinders in the fourth quarter, so we got to stay prepared. Definitely. But look at the play. Thank you, Zeke, playing for the Giants right now right there. <laughs> yeah, right? He just said, uh, here, lay up. All right, here we go. We got a motion play, play action no, on the no, no, no. Darnay Holmes helping out on the it's blitz, Marcus and it's Marcus Golden who's filling in for Lorenzo Carter, cleaning oh, up the sack. The Giants' bro. defense are starting off strong, and they are legit a top five defense this year. Let's check out how the pass coverage was, and it seemed bro. everything was pretty much covered. Wow, even in zone coverage, in zone coverage, we love it. We love it. Oh, I told y'all, bro. I wanted to see Marcus Golden out more. I admit it. I didn't want it in this circumstance. But I got faith in this dude. All right, He's Dak our best Prescott, Prescott under center. He takes the snap. He fakes the, the screen. And is Tony Pollard there That's wide a open for a about a 10-yard gain there on the run? Needs about another seven to go there. Um, the Giants were not expecting that run, that draw play there. That was a good play design there by Dallas. Um, by the way, shout out to Jay Crowder. He earned himself that starting spot, I just noticed. Right. He is out there on the field right now, if, if I'm not mistaken. So, third down and eight. Dak Prescott calling an audible here. 444 left to go in the first Logan quarter. Ryan dropped back a little bit. They've got three wide receivers set here, and they've got Dallas Schultz out there in the slot. CeeDee Lamb also beside him. Third down He's and eight. Take the snap. Fine. Giants send four. Prescott looking Drop for anybody, back. and Tony Pollard drops the ball as Dak Prescott was under pressure, throws a terrible ball to Tony Pollard, and it's fourth down. What a great the job Giants? by this Giants defense, forcing Yo. three stops, basically. They allowed a field goal in the first one, but two straight stops. The Giants defensive line was right there. Prescott was about to be sacked, so he had to get rid of it. What a job by the Giants defense as now... The punt unit comes on the team here. Fourth down and eight. 4.30 left to go in the first quarter. Play clock winding down to 13. We've got Chris Jones ready for the punt. The punt is up. And Golden. it's going to be a decent punt. 
It's called by Golden Tate right at the 25-yard line, and it would be just like as if it was a touchback. We're going to get the Giants offense at the 25. Listen, man, let's continue this for at least a, a half. I'm so <laughs> excited right now, but please, let's continue it for at least a half. Yeah, let, let, let's at least be leading by halftime, and then we'll we'll see what happens at the end. Exactly. Wow, oh, let's man. just to chat a little bit. Uh, Dylan Renner says, and I know uh, I know it. you guys are watching the defense. James Bradbury is having on Cooper, but it is Elite, it is elite Bradbury is locking down Cooper. Uh, I Listen, guess that's what I, I call it James Bradbury the best cornerback in the league. People called me a little crazy for saying that. I'm still maintaining it. If he's not the best, he's the second best. I'll just say that. Right, right now, at least, through the first four weeks of the season. Man, I, I can't I can't express enough. And Darnay Holmes having a fantastic game as well. Was able to bat down the ball uh, against C.D. Lamb in the end zone in the first drive. And also uh, comes in for uh, an assisted sack there. I don't know if he's going to get credit on that sack. He kind of got the, the shoelaces of Dak Prescott. Marcus Golden kind of took that one. Um, but either way, you know, definitely. ESPN right now and see if they are. Uh, right, you can check there uh, now. Check, yeah. And uh, well, whether or not it shows up on the stat sheet, Darnay Holmes was definitely um, an assistant there on that play and really got good pressure for like a 5'10 corner that weighs pretty much nothing at like 180. I, I don't know who was on him, which you would call like, I don't know who was on him, like blocking I, him. I, but... think, I think it was one of the running backs that were, that were uh, coming out and blocking him. He just, he, he went right past him. And, and and you can tell Patrick Graham wants to blitz Darnay Holmes a lot as he keeps sending him on blitzes. Uh, he almost got there last week against Jared Goff. You guys you guys remember where he almost stripped that ball away. Yeah, that's a good point on that. He's been saying Darnay Holmes on a lot of corner black blitzes. Mm -hmm. I guess he's just really good at that. And they split it. It's a half sack for Holmes, half sack for Golden. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I, th I think uh, Holmes deserves that one. He got like the shoelaces. Yeah, yeah, he definitely earned it. He, he pretty much was the first one to... Uh, if, if anything, there. it was more so like Golden was in there as a cleanup type of sack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, man, listen. What's up, Ron Dre eighty one? Welcome into the stream. Look at look at Ligma. I heard a troll. He says tank for nobody. Listen, Ligma, you you <laughs> the biggest tank for Trevor. <laughs> tank Coleman. for nobody. We love it, Ligma. But you know what? He's the first one to say tank for Trevor when we lose. <laughs> but look, they just showed Golden and Factual there uh, as my Hulu stream is uh, buffering again. So let me refresh. All right. Yeah, CD Lamb taking a knee out here. He's uh, he's upset. He's like, damn, I was drafted by the wrong team. Um, look, the largest <laughs> lead of the season. How about them Cowboys, baby? All right, so the Giants come out here at the 25. We got a uh, bunch to the left. Evan Ingram, part of that bunch, first down and 10. A uh, bunch to the right now. They flipped it. All right, Jones under center. We're going to get Ratley in motion. We got a handoff for Devontae Freeman, who spins I out spin. of a tackle for loss, is able to get one there, but it had potential. Great job by Freeman, and that's a pickable yeah, one you know there. He got one, but honestly, that could have been a tackle. Like, yeah. that could have been a loss of yards. Yeah, so in any other job. situation, whether that be Lewis or, or Goldman, that's definitely a tackle for loss. Good job by Freeman. As I'm, I'm actually not opposed to keeping Freeman when Saquon comes back. I think it would be a great one-two punch there. But I think Freeman would want a starting role, but uh, yeah. I think he should stay with us. Four rushes, 22 yards for Freeman so far on the day as we inch uh, just under four minutes in the first quarter. Second down and eight. Jones in the gun. We've got a two tight end set to the left. Nick Gates, you better snap this properly, bro. Jones takes the snap, looks for anybody, and finds Caden Smith, who is going to be tackled right next to the first down marker, thanks to Jalen Smith, who was able what, to try to get Evan him closer there. Was lined up as a wide receiver out there? No, he was, he, he was as a tight end. He was at a tight end. He was okay. at the wing. Third down and one coming up, thanks to Jalen Smith, who was able to get Caden Smith to the to the <laughs> closer to the, <laughs> to the marker. That, bro. Another talking point that we said about Jason Gary, get Caden Smith involved. Right, and I think I think Jason Garrett is just playing no no nonsense games against uh, his former team here at Jerry World. This is definitely a revenge game for him as he was fired. If you guys don't remember, Eli Penny coming at the strong, strong, a uh, strong eye. We get a fullback dive for Eli Penny, and we get a first down here at the thirty-six yard line, about the thirty-seven. First down, I pick up of two. I was going to say, before the play even went off, this is the first time all season I am confident that we could get that, you know, rushing conversion just mm -hmm. because, once again, Dallas Cowboys' ru rushing defense is 31st in the NFL. Right, so we're definitely going to be able to run the ball a lot. And so uh, I definitely want to try to get everybody involved. I, I love Freeman. We'll see what happens with him, but let's see if he could be a bell cow. First down and 10. 
Just under two and a half minutes left to go in the first quarter. Jones managing the offense. Dallas seems uh, very much confused. Jones should take advantage of this. Play clock running down yeah. to two. Takes the snap. Play action. Looks like it was supposed to be a bootleg. Jones looking for anybody, and Devontae Freeman drops the ball. Ah, oh, damn, Freeman. Devontae has been very consistent in the passing game. Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't come back and bite us. That's second and ten now. But he, other than that, he was very consistent in the passing game last week where he had zero drops. Yeah. Did this just go straight through his hands? Darius Slayton looked open, but uh, uh, Jones just needed more time. More time to get yeah. that ball out. And Jones, uh, I think he would have hit Slayton. Once again, hey, he's not forcing the ball so far. So, so far, so good. We got a new, a new. Uh, I mean, the, the same two tight end set here. Um, I actually like this. We we haven't seen much of this. Seems like maybe because we're running the ball a lot more effectively. And Freeman takes the snap, and he just slashes through the open oh, block, the offensive thing. line. Freeman, bro. And Freeman doesn't even need to do anything. That offensive he line just opened up holes. We even got pulling guards out there. Great job. Bro. Third down and two coming up. Devontae Freeman said, yo, DJ, DJ, listen, bro. I know I dropped the pass, but I got you on this play. Trust me. Look at that lane, bro. Right. If Caden Smith just stood on his feet, that may have gone for a first down. Look at that lane. That was just a straight hallway. Devontae Freeman has 30 rushing yards already. Last week, he had a total of 33. So he's about to break that. Damn, whoever told you they plays. started Devontae Freeman, bro, they were they were out here on something. Right, third down and two coming up. Jones from the gun, three wide receiver set, takes the snap, hand off Freeman, and Freeman is going to bulldoze his way through that A-gap and get the first down. I'm going to keep got it real with you. I thought he got tackled, there. but then all of a sudden I just see his body yeah, fall out the Yeah, he's so small, he's able to <laughs> like squish right through. Let's get it, Devontae. Giants running the ball real nice. This is what I like to see. The Giants have now, I think, more first downs than we did the whole half last game. So um, I think we're also we a great start. We got more rushing yards than we, right. or at least we three men alone than last game already. First down and 10, just under a minute to go in the first quarter. Jones under center. We got go. Ingram motioning from left to right. Jones trying to get his guys in place. Ratley in motion. It looks like they're going to try... Oh, okay, a play action. Set up a screen here. Freeman, again, is going to be utilized Come on. Come and on. get about an eight-yard gain close to the first down marker. Two yards to go. Sets up a second down and two. I just want to say uh, Jason Garrett all of a sudden turned into Andy Reid with all these creative plays actually working. Yeah, and utilizing Devontae Freeman, like, insanely. Like, I, I don't... Devontae Freeman... If you guys have Devontae Freeman in a PPR league, I think he's got to have at least seven or eight points for you already. Yeah. Second down and I, I one. Wanted, can you imagine what it would look like if that was Saquon out there healthy? Oh, that Saquon kills the Cowboys. Second down Saquon. and one coming up. We've got another two tight end set here. Ratley in motion again. Same formation we've been seeing, but it's been working. So who cares as Wayne Goldman is going to take the snap and get right down to the 40. A four-yard game for Goldman. And it's going to give the Giants a first down. And that's the end of the first quarter. Change it to the second, bro. Yeah, I was just about to say that. We're on it this game. We're on it this game. We're excited. The Giants are out here leading time of possession right now, have control of the football with the running game, and the passing game has been very effective. It's been efficient. I don't want to say it's been safe because DJ took a you know a couple of medium deep shots, right. but it's effective. It's effective. Yeah, right. And and I, I got to check how much Freeman is getting on PPR right now because it's insane. I picked him up on a PPR league before and I dropped him because <laughs> he did nothing the first week we got him. So I was like, okay, he's just a fluke. May have What's to pick that, him up. Man? May have to pick him up. I follow Scooter Magruder on Twitter and he because he's a hilarious comedian. Right, and uh, he's a Cowboys got, fan as well, right? Yeah, he's a Cowboys fan. He's like, is Sean Lee playing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this is this is really nice, bro. This is really nice. All right, let's check it out here. Let me let me. I, uh... I love it, man. This this is what I'm talking about. Uh, I now I'm going through you know Giants Twitter and somebody was going through your problem earlier. They're like I had to watch the end of the Chiefs game before they got to tune in. Right, it's it's, it's so dumb. They had to figure that out, man. They really do. Yeah. Devontae Freeman currently guys six carries, thirty two yards, two catches, twenty seven yards in just the first quarter. Now, of course, a lot of this has to do with, once again, how bad the Cowboys' defense is. Hey, but you got to expect them to take advantage of it. Yeah, Freeman in fantasy, if you guys are on uh, PPR Fantasy, um, he has 7.9 points right now at the end of the first quarter. So he's balling. I should have picked him up because I was missing a running back because um, I think Melvin Gordon is out or something. I'm actually facing and you in fantasy this week, this week too. 
Yeah, one of the guys that was available was Freeman. I'm like, ah, uh, nah, let me not get him. Mistake. <laughs> but this is what we're talking about, guys. What's the chat saying, Kid Blue? Uh, I'm not even in the chat right now. I'm coming back to it right now. I little, oh, okay, I pulled it up here. Ligma says the run game is great right now. I agree with you. Just Nate is saying, I told y'all, 56 to 6. Yo, if it's 56 to 6. <laughs> Dan Crouchy. Crouchy says Dan Quinn just got fired, and thank God Atlanta sucks. That's the second coach so far this year that's fired in the middle, not even the middle, in the first quarter of the season. Right, and deservingly so. Two zero and five teams now. Um, so, and uh, no, the Texans beat the Jacksonville Jaguars, didn't they? The Texans did they beat the Jaguars? I don't know. They were they were yeah they did beat the Jaguars. They blew them out. So. Um, uh, Romeo Cornell as the first interim coach. Why is it that interim coaches, all, their first game always are wins? I never have ever seen an inter interim coach not get a win. They were a better matchup for the Jaguars anyway. They were. They were, but, I mean, that's just like, I don't know, it's crazy. Here we go. Game's back on. Yeah, Daniel Jones here. get Handing off to Wayne Gallman off a power run there, and Dallas is all over it. Mm -hmm. About a, I think, a loss of one there. Set up a, first, a second down at about 11. Number 58 Smith, not Jalen Smith. Some other Smith on the Cowboys got through. He wasn't the one that made a tackle, but he got through real quick. Right. All right. Now they're showing replays here how the Giants have been working on this run game. Freeman has been absolutely eating on the Dallas defense. So what do you think they're doing here? Are they just bringing in Goldman to spell Freeman a little bit? Or are they going to go like by drives a different running back? I think they're spelling him a little bit. Here's uh, Daniel Jones off the quick snap and getting it out to Golden Tate for about a three-yard gain there, tackled by Jordan Lewis. Third down coming up. Third and long now. The Giants, are, the Giants are also facing former Giants safety Darian Thompson as well, too. Former Boise State Bronco. I have <laughs> high respect for him and... He hasn't been very good in the NFL, but I do like him. Third down and seven coming up. What year was he with us? Uh, he was drafted in 2016, if I'm not mistaken. Third down and seven coming up. Damn. Jones takes the snap. Deion Lewis is in the backfield. He tries to get, kick it out to Lewis, and it's incomplete. Jalen Smith in Somebody coverage there. got through there. the line and shot through like a cannonball. Who was right. that? And who was that on? Okay, so it just came through unblocked number 23. So Dallas's defense forces a stop here as the Giants were getting close to field goal range. Not quite there. That's Darian Thompson. <laughs> oh, no. They're going out for the field goal, bro. It's Darian. Oh, no. Near the Dallas star here. 55 yard 55 attempt. 55 yard attempt for Graham Gano as he looks focused. And that was Darian Thompson almost sacking De uh, Daniel Jones. He made the field goal. And here we go. Graham Gano kicking up, and it, it is good. You're a little ahead of me here. All right, it's fine. I think I'm, I think I'm about three seconds ahead. Okay. We'll sync up when they come back to you from, from commercial. Yeah, Graham Gano is absolutely good. having a great year. Graham Gano is having a fantastic year. Let's change the score here. 17 to 3. The Giants have now scored more points than they have the whole season. Yo, my bold we prediction. We passed it. Score we more did than it. 16 points. We did it, guys. We scored over 16. We finally scored over 16. We did it. We did it. We did it. Graham Gano out here, bro. Love it. Love it. Love it. We got to get a nickname for him. I'm just going to call him Graham Gano the automatic, bro, because that's what he's been so far this season. You got to know, Graham can know. Woo! Oh, man. He's looking like Alder Rose last 2018, bro. This man is just Graham money. Graham the gun can know. <laughs> Graham the gun can know. 55 yards. That's definitely the longest of the season. As we got a Master Chief commercial. That is that an amazing about. commercial. I love that commercial. That's cool. Oh, God, Yo. Goat Gano. Oh, yeah, we got Edward Chance as the Goat. Graham the Goat Gano. We got to use that one. We got to oh, use that Oh, you know where one. he got that from? In my preview video, I made a joke saying Graham Gano is the Goat, and I made a little animation of the Goat come up. <laughs> I'm like, he's the only person on the Giants offense that's doing anything. Right, so Graham the Goat Gano. Uh, Dylan Renner says, call, call Gano Daddy Gano. <laughs> God, we got Dylan Renner saying Godfather, Godfather Gano. Godfather Gano. Man. I'm extremely happy we signed Graham Gano, man. Extremely he is so happy. good. He's doing better than um 
Uh, former Patriots guy. Now, yeah, Guskowski. Um, Actually, Titans Gaskowski. fans hate Guskowski now. He's Both of them coming kicks. off very similar injuries, too. Yeah. Both of them coming off some type of so foot injury. So it seems injury. like the Giants made the right decision. John Doe says, Gano has the highest kicking power in Madden 21. Hmm. Uh, that that I one's got interesting. I've no Madden 21, but I'll take that. That, one, that one's interesting. Guy, you, you have guys out there like Greg Zerline. Guy, um, uh, Greg, Matt, Greg's Matt Prater. name is literally Greg the Leg. Greg the Leg, Matt Prater out there too, uh, and um, yeah. a, f- a former, another former Giants kicker here. Uh, the one for the Cow, uh, for the uh, no, um, the one for the uh, Brandon McManus for the Broncos. Um, he's the one that got beat out by Josh. Uh, what's his name? As we're back on here, you know what we gotta do, Kid Blue, just for the culture, bro. We gotta do the Jason Garrett clap. Yeah, the Jason Garrett clap. Good job, guys. Also smacking his gum, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's Gano. Here's the GOAT Gano out for the kick. Yeah, the Rams dude always looks snow. focused, doesn't he? Always yeah. looks focused. Here's Gano with the boot. No, no, GOAT Snow. Graham GOAT Snow. <laughs> and it's going to be a touchback here. Tony Pollard elected not to take it out. First down and 10 coming up. We take a look at next-gen stats. Uh, trips formation this season for Amari Cooper. C.D. Lamb leads the NFL. It snaps aligned on the trips side, so they like to be That's near each other. Offer on this drive right here, we we held them down the first couple of drives. The defense mm-hmm. has to do you know and hold them down this again is, here. This is where in Dallas start may get a little desperate here, start forcing the ball downfield, and you know what, Dallas's receivers can get it done. We have to make sure we are on point here. We have the uh, Ryan Lewis out here on the outside against uh, one of the Giants receivers here. Oh, we get a huge run. Yeah, by Ezekiel Zeke. Elliott, forcing his 13, way through for about a nine-yard gain. Uh, if you want to sync up 13, 19, 18, 17, oh, I'm 16. On, yeah, we're synced up. 15, okay, 14. But, yeah, 15, Zeke yeah. actually looked like Zeke in that run yeah, there. Yeah, Zeke actually looked like Zeke on that one. Uh, he, if we take a look at the Browns against Indy, Kareem Hunt catching a touchdown. And we get a handoff for Ezekiel Elliott, and he gets to about the Giants, I don't know, the Cowboys, 38-yard line for the first down. First down and 10 coming up. Our defense, come on now. Defensive line is currently the strongest part of the defense. Play like it, guys. As first Zeke is running off 10. the field, I think they're bringing in Pollard now. All right. Zo Carter towards tore Achilles. Yeah, I I, I knew that from, from the jump. I, as soon as I Ryan saw Lewis is our starting uh, corner on the outside, I guess. And we have another handoff by, this time, Tony Pollard, who's kind of like the, the the Yang to Ezekiel's yin. He's, he's able to bounce. He's able to, you know, get shifty uh, between the tackles. He picks up five there, second down and mm-hmm. five coming up. That's why I got so worried when I saw the knee buckle, bro. I literally thought of you when they showed a replay. I was like, Last time somebody's knee buckled, Kid Blue called it immediately. It was an Achilles. Um, it was an ACL, but this is an Achilles, actually. But still, Achilles. that's a season-ending injury. That's a season-ending Yeah, you're completely right. All right, Dak Prescott under center. Second down and five, he's staring down a receiver. He finds Cedric Wilson. Wilson is going to get close to the first down marker, but not quite there. Talk, tackle by Logan Ryan and Ryan Lewis. Whatever linebacker was on the outside there, he saw that Dak was staring him down, but just could not get, you know, get the there hop in time. Stuff. Yeah, it was Blake. I think it was Blake. Good job by Marcus Golden, making sure he gets down, making sure he feels his presence there. Third down and Good one coming up. He didn't get a flag there. <laughs> like, he actually does, like, the new textbook sack. This would be a big stop here for the Giants defense. Right at the 48-yard line. Giants getting close to the line. Michael Gallup in motion from left oh, to right. And we get a handoff for Dak Prescott as he catches the defense slipping. And yeah, there's, a, there's flag a flag down on the field. This may be a false start. Could be. Could be no, that I think, or no, no, I think somebody on the Giants jumped. That's why I said it. It's somebody jumped. It looked like oh, one of our defense. Is that why they jumped. quick? Is that why they quick snapped it? Let's see. Yeah, like I saw it. Like whoever was in the middle looked like they jumped. Okay. Yeah, we got encroachment. There we go. All right. So Dexter. that's the Giants' first penalty today, if I'm not mistaken. No, that's our third one today. Third one today. Okay. Yeah. You sure. We, we, yeah, we had one on defense already. We had one on offense. Like I said, the the, the past two weeks, this one included. Not as disciplined as we were at the beginning of the season. Oh, wow. First down and 10 coming up. 11-14 left to go in the half. Ezekiel Elliott is in the backfield. Hand off to him. And the Giants defense almost gets him for a tackle for loss, but keeps pushing forward. Two-yard gain there to the, to the Giants 45-yard line. Zeke is pumping himself up right now. He's trying to fuel himself and get this Cowboy offense churning. 
Yeah, gain, gain of three there for the Cowboys as uh, Patrick starting Graham to get going a little bit. happy on the sideline. Yeah, we definitely, definitely need to force some more pressure here. Elliott is now six rushes of 24 yards on the day so far. Uh, he's averaging four yards a pop. Second down and seven coming up. Giants look like they're going to be coming out in a cover two zone. And take Crowder out there right at the sticks. You got a handoff for Elliott. And Elliott is able to slash right through, right at the first down marker. Yeah. And get himself to about the 36-yard line. That's just great ball carrier vision right there. I thought for sure he was about to be tackled for loss. He made a couple cuts and then found the hole. Right, that was a good job there. Blake Martinez was there, but uh, Ezekiel Elliott was able to beat him there. Uh, here's going to be a bootleg here over an open Cedric Wilson. And Tate Crowder almost gets him out of bounds. He didn't reach him in time, try to push him out of bounds. It worked a little bit. First Tate down Crowder and 10. Probably should have tried maybe diving for the guy, but that was a quick snap by Dallas right there. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if he quite got to the first down marker. I think he's just short. Let's see. No, he's just short. He's just and short. And the Dallas Cowboys offense is now moving. Like I said before, this is where they're gonna pick it up, man. The, yeah. the Giants defense needs to hold. They need to adjust right now. So they, they did, do really, really need to adjust. They're gonna give him the first down. Quick snap here for Dak Prescott. Getting to Ezekiel Elliott, and he's gonna pull forward for about a four yard gain there to the Giants' twenty three yard line. Come second on, defense. Down and, oh. About a second down and six coming up. This run defense, bending a little too much. Looking like they did like the first two, three weeks. Right. Instead they, of how they, they looked last they week. They are bending just a bit. So let's just hope we just we force a stop here, force a field goal. Um, probably not the best uh, of scenarios, but uh, it is the best scenario right now. Uh, unless we get another interception or fumble or something of that sort. Dak Prescott takes the snap. Giants send three. Still able to get pressure, however. Wide and open. Michael Gallup right, uh, wide open right at the sticks. They're going to mark him for a first down, getting to the Giants. I don't know if that was 15. zone coverage, but he just found a soft spot in the defense and sat there. Right, it was definitely zone coverage there. Darnay Holmes tried to close up in time, wasn't able to close up quick quick enough. He had three guys around them, but he was literally, once again, just in that middle. and just The clock wild. is stopped. Somebody called a timeout. Giants called a timeout here, as I guess I'm okay with it, unless they're really confident of stopping Dallas from scoring here. My my guess would be that Graham is really, really not liking what he's seeing, and he needs to talk to the guys and get right. them Right, he didn't look happy from the get-go, huh? He didn't look happy, yeah. Basically, from, like, halfway through the drive, he was on the— when they showed him on the sideline, he looks like he was cursing up a storm over there. Yeah, so let's just hope that he sees something and he knows exactly how to fix it and it, and it executes perfectly. But the Giants um, are bending just a bit. They might allow another touchdown here, how it looks like already. The Dallas is starting to get a little— uh, they're scheming a lot better here. Let's see how, how this this is now coming into in-game adjustments, both for the players and now the coaches. We're looking at how Patrick Graham adjusts, looking at how this defense adjusts. Right. And keep in mind, gotta, guys, if the Giants pull out this win, they're a half game behind uh, mm -hmm. in, first, uh, in, you know, in first place. If we pull out this win, listen, I gave my confidence back that we could beat Washington. Like, if I we did. could pull out this win. I did, we're, we're just, just because, uh, they're, 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 first of all, their quarterback situation is not good. Alex Smith yeah. is I, – I, I, I'm sorry. I love Alex Smith's story. I just don't think it's good for him. I just He's don't not, think, he should he, not play this year. He almost lost his leg, all right? They told him we're going to have to cut it off, all right? So, the fact – if you've seen his documentary, man, that leg looked like somebody took a – like a shark took a bite out of it. You just saw bone. Like, you literally just saw bone. And I, I don't know if it's a and, good and idea. We're not saying that he can't come back from it. I just think it's a little too soon. Yeah, I, I, I definitely think it's too soon. And I, I, at this point, at his career, I think he was like he's like 37 years old. So he's, it's like now or never for him. So that maybe that's why. But what is he playing for? He's playing for one of the worst teams in the NFL right now. I mean, I, exactly. I think at this point, he's just playing for his glory. You know, I, I, I respect like, it. I respect it, but I just I don't think it's a good idea. Like, I think we are a better team than Washington right now at this point in the season. We definitely have a better defense than them. Mm -hmm. um, they have a better offense, but depending how, on how this game goes, maybe our offense, you know, catches up or becomes better than this. And I think, I think we just have better special teams. I think we're a better team than Washington right now. Yeah. So I do think we could get a win next week. Yeah, let, let's hope but so. Let's, yeah, let's not look ahead there right now. Let's look at right now what this Giants defense is doing. They need to adjust. They need to do something. They need to get the run defense back up and running. Right. This Giants, this Giants defense is definitely. Uh... Having a day so far today. Let's just hope they, they, they stay consistent. Let's take a look at Mike McCarthy out here on the Dallas sideline. First down and 10. On this drive, six rushes, three passes. Total of four and a half minutes. 
First down and 10, Dak Prescott takes a snap, hands off to Ezekiel Elliott right up the middle, and he's able to Jesus get Christ. a great amount of yards there, down to about the 7 Yard line pickup of about seven as well. Right, Giants defense. I'm speaking to you. What's up with the run defense, bro? This is not right. the 11th overall run defense. What is this? Second down and two coming up. Pretty much second down and goal. The Giants. Uh, hear me, the Giants. The Cowboys rushing attack is 23rd in the league. They should not be producing like this. All right, from the 12. Oh no, not the 12. I'm sorry, the eight. Ezekiel Elliott handoff again. Stopped by Blake Martinez right at the. Line of scrimmage. They may give him one, though. Let's see. Yeah, they give him one. Third down and one. 8.15 left to go in the second half. It's because Zeke is really, really good at falling forward. <laughs> yeah, Zeke is really good at just gaining gaining yards after contact. Not something that he's been pulling off so far this year, but seems to be working against the Giants. They're mm -hmm. still in the huddle here. They're going to come out. I, I think they got a three wide receiver point. set. They've been, they've been getting the run so much. Uh, they're getting very snug. They have a snug's formation here, and they're going to And there's the play action, what did I say? To, for, De uh, for Cedric Wilson, and Wilson is going to get close to the goal line. Talk about Ryan, uh, Logan Ryan, but down at the one-yard line. First down and goal. They just need one. You can imagine they're going to Ezekiel Elliott right now. That's what I'm saying. I expected them to pass at some point. They passed it right there. Logan yeah, Ryan. Go back to Zeke. Logan Ryan just punched the hell out of Cedric Wilson trying to get yeah, the ball out. trying to get that ball out. <laughs> He just he, he just punched his gut. <laughs> he's trying to get that ball out of his hand. <laughs> Knocked the wind out of him, man. Oh God! All right, so I formation. Oh, the Giants really need to do a good job here because Ezekiel is one of the best at doing this. Hand off Elliot and Elliot got it. Is let's see if he gets in. He's not in yet. He's definitely he's not, not in, in yet. Okay. He's at the one. They might mark him at a half yard line. Definitely not in yet. No, he, the Giants did a good job stopping that. He's definitely not in. Oh, no, he's in. I told you, that's yeah, a, he looks like TD. he's in. That's a TD. Yeah, he looks like he's in. From the, they, they had the above end. Oh, no. No, they're not going to challenge it. That's fine with me. Yeah. That's fine with me. All right, here we go. I formation, same motion as well. Second down and go. Dak might keep this one. It looks like his body language is telling me that. Yeah, he's very, very close. Yeah, Dak, Dak, Dak is keeping this one. Let's see. No, he's handing off Elliott. Elliott is able to get right in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Oh man, I don't like I do not like the way at all that our defense performed on that drive. Um I I have a bad feeling that the Giants offense is gonna stagnate now. I pray that I'm wrong. Uh offense needs to come out back and we need to score. We need to answer this score with a score. Right. Elliott, twelve rushes, forty five yards, and a score. Dalvin Thompson tried his best to get there, wasn't able to get there in time. Dexter Lawrence looked like he got tripped up. Wasn't able to get there as well. Dallas just, just did a good job getting an open lane for Ezekiel Elliott and scored the touchdown. Now we're waiting on a kick from Greg the Leg himself, who we just mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. Kick is up, and it's good. 17-10. coming Giants off the edge on our special teams always gets so, so close to blocking the kick, but never Right, they do, they do get close, and I think eventually we'll get one. But yeah, like I said, we need to answer with a score here. We need to enter the half with this lead, a seven-point lead at least. Please answer this with a score. Uh, Jason Garrett, cook something up for this offense now, man. Right. I, I, I'm actually pretty – like, I, listen, I'm going to take everything I can get right now. I would take a field goal. I don't really want a field goal. I want a touchdown. But if we can just, you know, get – Keep building the lead and make Dallas, you know, realize that they're going to keep scoring, you know, like, like, let's, you know, get them nervous, get them desperate. That's what I want them to do. Make this Dallas defense look like what it is. And that's the worst defense in the league. Make right. them look like a defense that allows just points on top of points on top of points. I want, I want Dallas to try to get desperate and they, they, you know, start making mistakes and they get nervous about, you know, uh, you know, being down to a team with no wins, <laughs> especially a rival <laughs> like the Giants. Chew clock. Everybody saying chew clock. Yeah, I wouldn't mind chewing the clock as well. But at the same time, Dallas is our experts are ch at chewing clock. So if we try to chew clock while they try to chew clock, they'll win that if battle 100% of the thing, time. If we try to chew clock and we fail, right. it's going to be a big fail. Right. Because Dallas but, is excellent at chewing clock. They're one of the best to do it in the NFL. And if they get their way, we'll be the ones down by 17 points, needing three scores with just like five minutes left to go. So uh, we have to be very careful in doing that. We have to make sure we get as much points as we can at, with you know the most amount of time still left on the clock. I'm just hoping, listen, um, I'm just hoping that we, we get a score here. But Dallas is getting their, their identity back of a running team. They're not passing that much. 
Right. Um, so this this running defense needs to step back up because when they were passing, they were failing, at least against us. Right, and, and, and it's crazy that they're they're not really targeting this Ryan Lewis kid uh, that much. They just stay straight running the ball and getting methodical. They really didn't go to the passing game. That tells you that they, they just want to focus on the run because if, if, if I'm Dallas' offense coordinator, if I'm Kellen Moore right now, I'm trying to target that new corner. You know, he was matched up on C.D. Lamb, and C.D. Lamb never got any looks. So uh, let, 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 let's see what happens if they start targeting him eventually. The Giants, I mean, the Giants, I mean, the Cowboys are infamous for doing that. You remember last year, week one, Antonio Hamilton was targeted heavily. He was just, he was getting dominated in week one by Dallas's offense. They were picking on him all game. Well, I will say Ryan Lewis was good last game. He seems to be doing good so far. So maybe that's why he's not being targeted like that. Right. Hopefully. Jesus, and, man, I'm on Giants Twitter. And I just want to say, I can't stand some Giants fans. There's the Giants game going on right now, and somebody tweeted, Odell's still really good at football. Like, what, oh, whose God. team are you really watching, bro? Right. Here's Greg the Leg with the boot. And the kick is off, and it's going to be a touchback. It's caught easily by Ballantine, but it's going to be a touchback. Has Ballantine ever taken it out? He's taken it out, but it's never worked out, so... <laughs> The Giants special team definitely it isn't as good isn't as good in the return game as last year. Not that we were any good last year, but they just they're not they don't seem very confident in the return game this year. Mm. They are missing people on the special teams, Cody Core. Right, first down and ten coming up. If we check out bouncing going back to the sideline. We haven't seen too much of him since he was benched for Ryan Lewis. First Come down and 10. Now. 6.31 left to go in the first half. Let's see if the Giants can pull off some kind of score here. Giants have seven points off of turnovers already. Dallas, zero. Got some type of motion. Yeah, we got uh, two tight ends set again. And we're getting the same type of motioning we've been seeing all quarter. And we get another handoff for Freeman. And Freeman is going to... That was a very dangerous juke there. As he almost ran into Smith. That's Alden yeah. Smith. Almost ran into Smith and fumbled that ball. It looked like it. Alden any, Smith any has been getting in our backfield a little too much for my liking. Alden so far. Smith is leading the league in sacks this year, so we need to be careful with Alden. Um, he looks like he gained some a, weight as well. You know, a great story for him in terms of coming back, not playing in the league for five years, and now you come back and you play at this high level. Right, right, and playing well. Hopefully, um, well, I hope he doesn't stay off the weed. Get get the hell off the the Cowboys. <laughs> five down. I mean, uh, second down and nine here. Jones from the gun. We've got a three wide receiver set. Evan Ingram is in the slot to the left. Cowboys seem to be sending a blitz, and they do. Linebacker blitz as Jones tried to set up a screen here, and it goes nowhere. Good job by just throwing the ball away. And I don't know why Dallas just just desperate to get that damn ball when it was obviously incomplete. Well, I guess I mean I had a bad feeling our offense might stagnate here, and it's not looking Seems good. To we got to so. do something. I don't want the offense to stagnate and go back to three and outs like it was every other game. Right. Seems to be so. The Giants really benefited off those trick plays, but you can't run trick plays all the time. Third down and nine coming up. You should got to get back to. You have to be able to beat teams fundamentally instead of by some trick plays. So let's see what happens go back here. To what they did during the first drive. Jones. When they touched on, running Jones, the ball, targeting the receivers. Right. Jones coming out in an empty set here. While well, uh, Deion Lewis comes back in the running back position. Play clock winding down the one. Jones takes the snap. He looks left as nobody's going to be open. He throws the ball out for an open golden Tate who stays on his feet and stays in bounds and keeps the catch. First Look down. At that. Nobody was open. Is, Golden Tate said, hold my beer, bro. That is exactly what happens. It's something I don't like with da about Daniel, though. He keeps throwing off his back foot, and it pisses me off. That's how you, exactly how you throw interceptions. But um, uh, good job there by uh, the offensive line for the Giants, just staying with it, and Jones is being patient. And uh, that's what happens when you, get, when you give him time. That's what happens when you give Daniel Jones time. He finds his guys open. Mm -hmm. First down and 10. Please run the ball. Just, just run the ball. Yeah, just run the ball, right? Run the Jones ball, seven to ten for seventy seven so far today. Here's Jones. Play action. Oh, no. Who doesn't see it? Oh, another guy! Oh, a freaking fumble! You gotta be kidding me! And, uh, and he's gonna take it down. back for a touchdown. Anthony Brown, another like fumble. The, the, just like that, Dallas ties I up the game. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. Alden Smith was screaming off the edge. I saw that one coming. I saw Just the like fumble that, coming. Bro. Jones Dallas had no. Jones had no. That was Tank Lawrence, who gets his first sack of the season. What did I say, bro? I said just run the ball. Why is Jason Garrett calling a play action? Run the ball, please. 
Another Just fumble. run the ball. And another turnover. And Tank for Trevor is running strong. What, Jason Garrett, bro? All you had to do was run the ball. That's all you had to do, Jason Garrett. Just run the football. Greg the leg with the kick to tie the game. Listen, at least we get it right back. I mean, it's not even an at least. There's no consolation prize. There is nothing good out of this. But we do get it right back. Jason Garrett, listen, bro. Run the football. Do what you did during the first drive. You ran the ball heavy. You ran the ball more than you passed it. Do that again. It, se it seems like that 10 pounds or 9 pounds of muscle that Daniel Jones picked up is just not enough. Not enough. I mean, we've seen. I mean, he, he, I'll keep it real. He it did looks get like he blindsided. Completely off guard. All of yeah, got there in like two seconds. Right, but at the same time, we've seen these type of things all the time from from quarterbacks getting hit like that, and most of them keep the damn ball. I mean, it's just like Daniel Jones just keeps fumbling it, and I'm trying to defend the guy. I can't. He just can't keep. He can't keep the freaking ball. He I'm gets sacked. He just drops it. I'm not gonna defend him on that at all. You know, so I completely understand you getting on him. I'm just going to continue to get on Garrett because it's like the dude calls like a couple of good drives and that's it. Like he forgets what <sighs> just run the ball, man. If you run the ball, that that doesn't even happen. There's not a chance for it to happen. All right. Talking about a team that has terrible run defense. Then again, terrible pass defense as well. But damn, we were running, running the ball so effectively, man. And I'm, getting, I'm starting to get frustrated with Jones, man. I really am. I it's like it's like you shouldn't have to worry every time your quarterback gets sacked if he's gonna fumble the ball. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have to. I know he that was a tough hit. It was a blindside hit. But Jesus, man, how is people, it he's always letting go of the ball? Just Andrew Thomas completely whipping. Which yeah, I'm looking at a replay on Twitter here. That's on Andrew Thomas as well. He did a terrible job there. Did not even get a hand. On Demarcus Lawrence as he came around, Andrew Thomas just completely missed the block, like 100%. Oh God! And it felt, and it just went right to Anthony Brown, right to Anthony Brown. Gotta be kidding me! Just like that, bro, tied up. Just like that, 14 point, uh, 14 point lead. Our, our only lead, our only, our longest lead in uh, the season so far. We did lead at one point, but did we lead at one point? Yeah, we um, Steelers. We led against the Steelers, right? That was like ten to nine, <laughs> or ten or ten to six, something like that. I don't know. Oh man, mm. we're waiting to come back from commercial here. Is we're gonna get a kickoff? We may even go back to commercial after the kickoff. Let's see what happens. Golly, wow. Ah oh, man. This is on a couple people. Daniel Jones, just terrible awareness, can't hold on to the ball. Uh, goddamn, Andrew Thomas just looked like a like a sixth-round pick rookie out there, couldn't even get a hand on the Marcus Lawrence, and goddamn, Jason Garrett, just run the ball, man. It's not that hard. Just run the damn ball. All right, Zerline with the boot. Oh, they always find a way to, to knock my confidence away. Always. We have exactly five feeling, minutes left to go. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. Daniel Jones now has 22 career fumbles in 18 games, most in the NFL. 14 of them lost. <sighs> All right, come on. Come on, Jason. Run the ball. Run the ball, Jason. If they pass the ball, they've learned nothing from this drive. If they pass the ball first, they've learned nothing from this drive. what's going to happen. Jason's going to run the ball uh, like probably one or two times. That's it. This entire drive. First down and 10, Demarcus Lawrence gets his first sack of the season. It seems like every team gets their first against the Giants all the time, every season. Here we go. Jones under center, Freeman in the backfield. Power run for Freeman, running the ball, getting two there. Good, now go back and run it again. <laughs> Second down and eight coming up. Jones needs to channel his inner uh, savage mode, man. Just get it going, man. Just, just forget it. Just, it, just knock it off your shoulder. Don't let your confidence go away. He was having you a, have that Eli like short term memory. Right, short term memory. Just, just do what you got to do, man. Seven to ten, seventy seven yards. You're not having a terrible day. Just do what you got to do. Do your job. Do it well. Second down and eight. Please run the ball again. Here we go from the gun. Empty set. This is they're they're passing the ball here. Jones takes a snap. Looking short and almost gets that ball intercepted. That should have been picked. Joe Thomas almost there with the interception, and this is where the Giants fall apart. 
That should have been picked. I told you, run the ball again, man. Why is this there? This is where the back? Giants fall apart. Jones staring down his receivers too long, looking for yeah. Evan Ingram again, he, asking whoa, whoa, for another whoa, whoa, interception. Bro, not only did he st stare down the receiver, Evan was completely covered. Caden Smith was the Kaden guy Smith. in target. Caden Smith is wide open. I don't. Every time Daniel Jones gets a turnover, he's never the same. It's like his confidence is gone. What did From I tell you, gun, bro? Jason Garrett's going to run all once. All right, Jones has some time in the pocket, able to find an open golden tape for the first down, down to the Giants' 49-yard line. First he down. Ball again. That was a good play, good pass. I, I'm not putting anything else other than it was a good play, good pass. Can we run the ball again? If Garrett ends up running this ball, like I said, just once or twice the entire drive, it's still a problem. Go back right. to the first drive where we actually scored a touchdown. He ran it like six, seven times on that drive. First down and 10 coming up. Get a two tight end set here. Ratley in the close slot to the right. Come on, man. This Cowboys defense is not good. Take Three advantage. and a half minutes left to go. Ingram motioning, getting back to his normal spot. And we get Freeman, a gain of two there. Getting into what the hell just happened there. Getting into Dallas territory. That's offensive about the line, what are you doing? What's the offensive line doing right now? This this rushing defense by the Cowboys is not good. Come on, offensive line. Block a little better. Second down and eight. Just about three minutes left to go. Are they running it again? Thank you. Does It, it looks like they're running it again. Second down and eight. I can't Let's tell. see. Zooming up on Freeman right now. All right. Here's Jones from the gun. Freeman to his right. Dallas is sending a blitz. Jalen. High okay, snap. High Nick snap. Gates. And a quick throw Darius for Slayton. Darius Slayton on the slant. That's exactly what we needed. Darius Thank Slayton you. is an expert at that. As we've seen that we seen that in the Jets game a couple of times. First down, Giants. They're moving down the that field was, here. Hey, the two things we did that drive, run the ball and use Darius Slayton. Yeah, exactly what we did on the first drive as well, yeah, which is what we need to keep doing. High snap I by Nick Gates. Bro, By the I way, I love that play design there. They even have guards pulling to fake the run. So good job there. Yo, isn't that helmet to helmet? Seems like it. That's why they're replaying it as well. I think they're trying to they're trying to say that was definitely helmet to helmet. Ten seconds to the two minute. They might just take it. Why is it empty set? Now they're gonna bring Freeman back. Okay. Play clock running down to three. They might just Yo. take it. They're gonna take it. They're gonna take it. Why? Two minute. Oh, okay, two minutes. Okay, I didn't yeah. even peep. My bad. I'm just like, yo, why is the clock yeah. running down? I would take it as well. They, they definitely need time to recoup. All right, Jason, run the ball again. Simple, very simple. All you have to do, I'm telling you, if we run the ball, there is no fumble return for a touchdown. Yeah, Jordan P is saying Miami destroying the Niners. That is <laughs> so. I heard that so Jimmy Garoppolo is having such a bad game that people are calling for Nick Mullins to go back in. Yeah, and look, and you know what's funny? Mullins got ben benched last game for Beathard, and Beathard played well. Yeah. <clears throat> 49ers can't find any Miami, consistency at the running back position, uh, at the quarterback position. What'd you say? I said the uh, Miami, I mean, um, San Francisco can never find a consistency at a quarterback position. They're currently up 30 to 7. What? You're, you're joking. No, 30 to 7. They're up 30 to 7 on San Fran? Yeah. And it, what are they, at the half? This is a halftime, yeah. Oh, my God. Jimmy Garoppolo is 7 for 17, 77 yards, two interceptions. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's true what they say, man. Runner-ups runner -ups in the Super Bowl never make it back. They don't ever make it back. Besides the Patriots, but damn, they always fall short. Like Atlanta fell out, fell down, you know, off a cliff. Carolina fell off a cliff. That is crazy. The Rams seem to be coming back though. The Rams, what are you the Rams about the didn't Rams? fall off a cliff. They just were nine and seven last year. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man. All right, now come on, Giants. I'm gonna get back. This drive for me, if it doesn't work out, I'm going to put all on J.C. Garrett because this is a terrible defense, a terrible rushing defense in particular. Their passing defense isn't great either. They're like 27th in the pass. So if the offense can't score, I'm putting it on Garrett. He needs to do something. Right. 
And I said it right right before that play too. I'm like, please run the ball. It was a play action, and then bam, fumble. I just don't. I, I just don't know what the hell's going on with with uh, San Fran. That's crazy. Oh wow. That that makes our that makes our loss look like crap. <laughs> Damn. All right, two minutes. We're coming out the two minute warning. Giants come out here in first down and ten. They only had five plays to move down 42 yards. Good job by the Giants in a three-minute drive. From the gun. Looks like a running formation here, a gun, a gun running formation. Jones, yeah, and they are going to run it. And Freeman finds an open lane, about to get, uh, gets a, about a five-yard gain, four to five-yard gain. Gain run closer it in Dallas territory. Run it again. Come on now, run it again. In the last two minutes of the first half this season, the Giants are scored twenty-four to three. We got to enter this this halftime with a lead, man. Come on now. Second down and five as Dak looks from the sideline. Under a minute thirty left to go in this half. Jones comes out the gun again. We get a three wide receiver set. Ingram at the tight end slot to the right. Jones calling an audible. Play clock running down, and Nick Gates is just standing there. Nick Gates. Oh, that, God. That's not him. Daniel Jones was calling. He was calling for the out. damn ball. I'm sorry, bro. I'm I'm done with Nick Gates. Oh, the Giants called a timeout in time. Thank, Thank God. Thank God. I'm still done with him, bro. I don't know about you. Oh, my God. And Joe Judge saw it, too. He called a timeout real quick. Yeah, Gates' days are numbered there at, at, at uh, center, man. I'm, is, re though, I'm, ready to see what, I'm ready to see what Shane Lemieux would do. I, 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 yeah. Here's the second thing. We don't have a better option at center because Shane Lemieux is a guard. Right, he like, is a guard, but he's been practicing at center all year. Not so, all year. We we don't know what he's been doing we, we, since he was drafted. No, he yeah, that we was do. Actually, he, was he, he was competing at center. at center. He lost a job, but he was competing he was, at center. But, yo, right now, has he been practicing at center in you know, practices? We don't know that. Yeah, we don't know that much, but... I, I guarantee you he's getting reps at center. You know, you never know. You know, you got Will Hernandez and, and, and uh, Zeitler there. I don't think, you know. There we Come go. High snap, snap again. They're going to run it. And uh, Freeman is going to slip up as he could have gotten to the sideline. He could have gone over And Jalen Smith right, seems yeah. happy for, for no reason because he slipped up. Third down and four coming up with a minute left to go. I think the Giants called their final timeout here. Just two snaps in a row where it's costed by Nick Gates. First. He couldn't get the ball up in time, and then second high snap. His days are numbered here. Oh, the Dallas called a timeout. You got Darian Thompson out there. Still. What are you doing here, bro? I I'm not sure if I'm confident in passing it again. I, I'm the, I'm this. looking for the first down. I'm probably gonna pass it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Not gonna I'm, lie to you. I'm I'm a bit more conservative right now. I'll probably try and run it again, and then I'll take the field goal. I don't know. I'm just. I hope we could get a conversion. I, I want a short pass, but if it's tight coverage, throw it away. That's what I want. You know, a short pass, get the first down. Don't if you don't force get anything. it. Yeah, don't force anything. If if you gotta take a sack, take the stack. We're at a thirty you're at the thirty yard line pretty much. So all right, from the twenty seven yard line, Jones in the empty set, takes the snap. Cowboys send five. Jones looking for anybody, and he's gonna throw the ball away. Good job. Exactly what I Good. said. If nothing's there, yeah, throw the ball awesome. away. We had a receiver in the vicinity. There should be no. Our offensive line got demolished on that play. Yeah, they they it's broke down really straight. quickly, and it seemed like there was in the beginning. Yeah, Cam Fleming got killed. Oh my Cam god! Fleming got just destroyed. There was nobody in the vicinity though. He could have gotten for intentional was, grounding. Was Darius Slayton open? Loki? No, nobody was open. There's no. Oh! 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 Trick play! Trick play! Oh, Evan Ingram touchdown! <laughs> Oh my God! Off the trick play, the cameras weren't even set, guys. So that's why we couldn't call it. Nobody, look at Joe Judge, bro. We couldn't call it. Jones look at is, Joe Judge. Jones is excited as hell. He's fired up. He said, "That's what the hell I'm talking oh, about." A flag. Oh my God! There's a flag on the field. That's They're calling him Cam Fleming. That's why he's fired up because he's angry. Jones is pissed off. You gotta be kidding me. That's why he's pissed off because it's Cam Fleming. You gotta be oh, kidding me, bro! Man. Oh my God, Jesus! Illegal shift! Oh my God! Not even a false start. It's an illegal shift. The uh, dude motion. Did he motion? Oh, it's on Nick Gates. Yo, get this man out of here, bro! Get him out of here. 
That's literally three plays in a row where everything went wrong because of him. Get him out of here, bro. Wait, I don't get it. Just get him out of here, bro. But what what, what did he do? They showed the replay. I didn't see anything. Jesus Christ. That was so good, too. The kick and the is Giants, up and grab Gano, the goal. You know what's so funny about it? The Giants have practiced that a lot in the blue-white scrimmage we saw that. In right. practices before the season began, we saw Riley Dixon, you know, throwing the football. I'm rightfully pissed on if I'm Joe Judge because even if we didn't see anything in the replay, what did I just say? That's three or four plays in a row where it all went wrong because of Nick because Gates of and Nick Joe Gates. Judge. I mean, because of Joe Judge, because of Nick Gates. I told I, – I was telling everybody. I hope everybody can uh, can appreciate my analysis on Nick Gates when I told him before I even did my film review. I said he sucks. He sucks. Why does everybody love him so much? Everybody thinks he's the savior. Why did we get Shane Lemieux? Why did we get Matt Pear? It's Nick Gates is the answer. Shut your mouths. Shut him. Now you guys understand. I get he's playing a new position, but this guy is not great at any position. He just knows how to play the positions. Golly. On a freaking fake where he had nothing to do with the play. Just let it develop. God. If I if I'm if I'm Joe Judge right now, I know exactly. I'm, I'm if I'm Nick Gates right now, I'm scared to go back to that sideline. I'm scared to go back to that sideline. Did he have three penalties on him in this drive? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Holy crap! People are blaming Cam Fleming, even though it was on Nick Gates right Edward now. Edward Chan said it's Fleming. No, it was on Nick Gates. Edward. It was on Nick Gates, bro. It was on Nick Gates that one. The call was on Nick Gates. Every like, bro, it was not Nick Gates. I mean, it was not Cam Fleming. They might have called seventy-five. I don't know. I can't hear. But everybody but was the giving thing Nick... popped up and it said 65 Gates. Yeah, everybody the thing popped up and said 65 Gates. And then Nick Gates was everybody was trying to give him a high like a like a little dap to make sure it was they got it wrong. Look at the play. Okay. That's what it was. Maybe it was Fleming. I don't know. Either way, Fleming sucks too. I said I want Mad Pair in there. Yeah, man. Joe Judge was heated, bro. Oh my he was God. beyond heated. Oh, is that what it is? Fleming had his arm out. That's the illegal shift. Fleming had his arm out. Ne was that what it was, guys? That Fleming had his arm out like that? That's the illegal shift? Oh, you just got Evan Ingram just standing there. Nobody's even seeing Evan Ingram. Nobody saw him. Oh, my God. Nobody saw. I'm looking at that replay right now. Nobody. That yeah. was such a perfect. Nobody play. was on him, bro. Literally oh nobody was God, on him. Oh my God, that was such a perfect play. And jo listen, Joe Judge is a special teams specialist, like no doubt about it. That's why he's pissed about it. That's his forte. And we missed an opportunity like that. Now it's on film. Now oh, by the way, C.J. Beathard has officially come in for uh, Jimmy Garoppolo wow. in the San Fran game. You would bet they benched a $30 million quarterback for him? Oh, my Lord. Let's see here. It was Fleming? Look at how open. Literally nobody's but, on this wait, man, but, but bro. But who had the illegal shift? Nobody shifted. Edward Chan, I'm not, I'm not going to calm down, dude. We just met, we just, we could have been up by, by a touchdown by now. Golly. Defense, please play as elite as you All actually right. are. Giants sent four. Dak Prescott under pressure. Oh, that's definitely a flag. James Bradbury. No flag. No flag. Shut up. Shut okay. up. No All flag. Right. No All flag. Right. James Bradbury is Cooper. elite. I don't know what you're talking okay. about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. That's not what you're talking about. Yeah. James Bradbury is elite. I see D Lamb's cooking up. Oh, God. Don't tell me. Come on now. This defense needs to Nobody play spoil... as elite as it is. Nobody spoil anything, guys, please. I just saw CD Lamb cooking up. Oh, come on, man. Why he's would... wide open right now. Uh, second down and 10. He's going to go in motion here. He's back in the right slot. Prescott is going to take the snap. It's going to be yeah, he got a four-man rush. And wide open down the middle. What do you know? C.D. Lamb. That's on Kyler Fackrell, even though I'm not sure territory. why Fackrell's back there in coverage. But Lamb went straight behind him. 
First down and 10 for the Cowboys. They start moving downfield. They're close to field goal range. Yeah, already. Kyler Fackle, for some reason, dropped back in coverage. Yeah, because That's they, on they, Tay Crowder as well. Yeah. That's yeah, just on the linebackers. They, they just blitzing. did not hit anything. They were blitzing. Can't, yeah, she got sports. I am so pissed about that. Now it's on film, and the Giants won't be able to run that all year. I guarantee you. They won't. First down and 10. Prescott. Four-man rush, finds an open man, it's C.D. Lamb. Five, about a six-yard gain there for C.D. Lamb as he gets a little feisty on Logan Ryan. 33 seconds left to go here. I think somebody's called a timeout. I think it was Dallas. Dallas timeout, they used their second. Come on, this defense looks like last year's oh, let me defense right the score. now. Like they can't stop anything. Sorry, guys, let me update the score. The defense is, right now looks updated. like last year's defense, bro. Right. Like, they can't stop anything. I don't know what's up, man. It is updated. Never mind. Sorry, guys. Yeah, she got sports. Lauren in the building. What's going on, Lauren? Another Giants YouTuber. Make sure you guys check her out. Shout um, out to she got sports in the chat, man. I I am I, I am disgusted right now, man. The, the Giants probably only had a one in a million chance to make that play. And they found the opportunity to do so. And that's what Joe Judge is, is is getting mad about, man. That we had the opportunity. Now, can this defense do good? Can they not look like James Fetcher defense? Right, can we get a like sack Patrick here and get them defense? out of field goal range? We just need a sack here. All right. Here's Prescott. Takes the snap. Doesn't look like the Giants defense was ready for it. But under pressure is Dak Prescott anyway. And it's incomplete. Third down Bro. and four coming up. Good, good coverage by Tate Crowder as well on Dallas Schultz. They're down to four coming up. 28 seconds left to go here, guys. So they definitely have some time to work with if they were to move downfield and Come skip on, the man. field get goal. Get a stop or keep them like just right out of field goal range. They're going no huddle here. The Giants are trying to get set. Dallas might catch them. Not looking. Let's see here. All right, Giants are getting set. Looks like they're going to be sending a rush here. They're sending four men, and Dak Prescott finds it wide open. C.D. Lamb who makes the catch. There's a flag. As there's a flag on the field as well as Adrian Col Colbert, Colbert, That's or whatever the hell his name is, squad, for Colbert, helmet to man. helmet. Bro, if we didn't have injuries, we would have our starter out there instead of Adrian Colbert. Wow. We need Xavier McKinney more and more. We need Xavier McKinney more and more. All right, guys, we're, in, we're entering the red zone, so obviously something's going to happen here. Make sure you guys don't spoil it. We're at 23 seconds right now. I don't know if you guys are playing ahead of us or not. Uh, yeah, no, Lamb, Darnay Holmes just got beat. Yeah, and C.D. Lamb Adrian definitely won Colbert. that battle. We're missing our starters so much. Right? We have so many injuries on this Giants defense. It's crazy. C.D. Lamb definitely uh, won that battle on Darnay Holmes. He matched up on him again. The Giants look like they're coming out in man defense here. As we get another timeout here, I think this is going to be by the Giants. Get set here. I think that's a good call. Make sure you're set as they could score at any moment. They're not showing who called the timeout. <laughs> yeah, they're not showing it. Let's see who got it. I'm pretty sure it was the Giants. I don't think it would be Dallas at this point. Hello? <laughs> Anybody? Right. Yeah, they're not showing. Yeah. CD Lamb, five receptions, 80 yards already. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kaden asks, is, is, is Xavier coming back next week? I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, I thought back until at least like week eight, bro. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. At least at like week eight. So, um, you know, people were saying week 10, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. Well, I think they're going to want him back soon. We're missing him for sure, man. Definitely... Adrian Colbert is filling in for him, and uh, right. obviously he just completely messed up. Right. Why can't this defense just perform good? All right, here's Dak Prescott taking a snap. handoff for Ezekiel Elliott. It's going to be a Three flip for it. Oh, my God, the Philly special. Dak Prescott touchdown. Why was he so open? Why was he so open, bro? Dak Prescott touchdown. Why in the world was he so open? Unreal. Uh, they they didn't think anything of it. They thought Cedric Wilson would just be taking it and unreal.
Don't the Cowboys get the ball back at halftime? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I believe so. Uh, let me update the score. Unreal. Unreal. This defense completely, I, literally after I the first drive. I can't even blame the Giants defense on that one. That was just, I mean, who would have yeah. thought? Who would have no, thought? I, but... I can blame them for letting them get downfield so quickly. I can blame them for that. I'm putting the blame on them for that because defense fell apart after the first two drives and the offense just fell apart after the first drive. Oh, man. Unreal. Hold on. <laughs> a minute. I have a 51 seconds left. You guys know that? Under a minute left to go, and they really went down the score. Uh. That's why I said I, I can blame the Giants. I am blaming them. You don't let them down that quickly. Unreal. <sighs> All right, the Giants. <laughs> I just can't. I just. I just can't. Oh, did I just put? Did I give the Giants twenty four? Sorry about that, guys. I don't know if the chat was talking about it, but I just noticed that I just did that. Cause we should have twenty four points, but uh, you know. Wow. Wow. So I, I, I think Kellen Moore was like, I think Kellen Moore was like, hey, <laughs> they try to get a trick play on us on special teams. Let, let, let's show them what we got. Some Philly special. All right. Oh, my God. The Giants, I didn't even know they were going to play this. The Giants take the snap. Sorry, guys. It's blur blurred out. Oh, my God. The Giants take the snap here, and it's caught by Golden Tate. Yeah, that, oh, that ball hit the ground. Like, that, what are they expecting to do here? That ball definitely hit the ground. Ball definitely hit the ground. What are they expect? Are they expecting to get into field goal range or something? I don't know. I think they're just trying to see whatever whatever they got. We're out of timeout, so I mean, this is about to be the last play of the drive. I mean, of the half. Ten seconds left. The play is under. Who cares about this? Why are we? What are we doing? We what should are we be doing? Twenty through twenty right now. Was it not for Cam Fleming? No, but but but, we but what? Up twenty through twenty off of a regular touchdown. If Nick Gates didn't mess up three times in a row, and then Cam Fleming messed up on the trick play. What are we doing that we're really putting this under review? Who the hell cares? Who cares? We have no timeouts and 10 seconds left. Are you serious? I mean... <laughs> uh, Edward Chance says Thomas is playing horrible. Uh, listen, he, he is right now, and I'm not gonna. everybody's going to say, oh, Thomas is a bust. Tom, I said Thomas is going to have his bad games. He's a rookie, crying out loud. Rookie. Yeah. But, um, Any bad game that Andrew Thomas has this year, I'm Hub, not getting on him. Hub, now, how would how would you call this, man? Incomplete. It, I mean, it did hit his hands. And we've seen catches like this be called catches, but yet we've seen catches like this not be called catches. What do you think? Welcome to what is a catch in the NFL. I honestly <laughs> don't know. <laughs> Unreal. They're going to overturn it. Yeah. Incomplete, oh, yeah. Fair. I don't even care. I mean, who cares? Who cares? This is this is gonna be like this, I'm telling you, I I think the Giants are gonna come back and score some points, but this is gonna be like a freaking 34. No, this is gonna be like a 40 to like 34 type game, man. This is gonna be a shootout. 24 Defense. to 20 at the, at halftime. Man, 24 Defense. to 20 Defense. at halftime. Defense right now. All right, and Jones will just take a knee, and we'll go on to halftime. How did 
Falco knock out because it's a shift of momentum. Dak already had the momentum and Falco had to shift his momentum to him. It's just not going to happen. Dak is much. I would I would put my money that Dak is faster than Tyler Fackerel. Yeah, one hundred percent. Oh no, Giants receive the second half the second half kickoff. Oh yeah, they do right. They do. Yeah. Listen, the Giants on offense. Jason Garrett, call the plays that you were calling on the first drive because guess what? It worked. Patrick Graham, call the plays you called on the first Dallas drive because it worked. I don't know what. Like, both of their play callings kind of got worse as the, the period went on, as, as we got closer and closer to halftime. Edward Chan said so this is where the Dallas defense. runs away with the game. Way better. Hey, listen, I, I'm impressed. Listen, this is definitely not – it's crazy to say that that the Giants scored 20 points, but this is not the most impressive game I've seen for them so far. I think I think the Rams is still the best game, in my opinion. They showed a really good amount of defense. They were driving on offense, just couldn't score points. Um, I'm more impressed with, with – uh, with last week than I am this week. Mm-hmm. Is uh, I'm I'm just the thing I'm like kind of I guess halftime takeaway is like the offense did wake up. Like this is still the best offense we've seen all season. So there you go. Devontae Freeman could still run the ball. Is that Jason Garrett seems to still have trouble actually calling plays to run the ball. Right. Cornerback two is low key still a problem, and then obviously CD's getting open. Um. I think now we're noticing the loss of Lorenzo Carter a lot more now because people don't know that he is good in the run game and the Dallas run game got going um, as we got closer and closer to the half there. Uh, DJ still has pocket awareness problems, can't hold on to the football, and this Dallas pass rush is waking up. So, yeah, I mean, play calling just needs to get better or get back to what it was at the beginning of the game. Yeah, def- de- definitely. I mean, we, we just got to go back to fundamentals, man. Start using Slayton more. Like Slayton hasn't had a touchdown. He had two touchdowns in week one. Hasn't had another touchdown since then. He was a touchdown machine last year. Led rookie receivers in eight touchdown receptions. Get Slayton more involved. He's our guy. I know Golden Tate's been lining up in the slot. That seems to be what Dallas' weaknesses really is because Golden Tate's been getting open looks all game. Then put Darius Slayton in the slot. I know he's more of an outside guy because he's your burner, but put your best playmaker in position to succeed. You know mm-hmm. that's what they did with Odell Beckham. Odell can play all the way on the, uh, you know, all over the field. But wherever that matchup really, um, you know, w- was better for Odell, they put him in. You know, so they, they they picked for Odell. They run rub routes for Odell. You know, they got Odell in open space. They made. You Once know, they again, put... they schemed for wide receivers, and exactly. we're not doing that. I think I, I could honestly say probably the best. It's it's really weird to say the best offensive coordinator we had in the past couple of years was Ben McAdoo, in my honest opinion. The best offensive coordinator, not head coach, but the offensive coordinator the Giants had the past couple of years, Ben McAdoo. Kevin Gilbride was all right. He's been with it for a long time. Then we switched over to Ben McAdoo. And then we went over to Pat Shermer, and you know how much of a disaster that was. And Jason Garrett's been inconsistent. We know Jason Garrett's potential, but it's been inconsistent. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what to say, man. I'm just very, very, very disappointed in our defense more than anything. The offense, like, after Dallas came back and scored with 17 to 10, I I did say, I literally said I have a bad feeling the offense is going to stagnate. I did not expect the defense to completely fall off a cliff. That's what I'm more disappointed in right now. I need to see some type of adjustments. That's insane. Man, there's a commercial, a fish commercial, and oh my god, that looks good. <laughs> that looks good. I don't even know. And uh, CJ Beathard since stepping in the game for the 49ers. The 49ers finally score, by the way. Oh, what do you know? And I was in the FTFN meeting. Uh, you know, we we're doing a live stream. We do a live stream every Sunday for each games, and they were doing the matchup between Miami and uh, San Francisco. And San Francisco, the, the 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 ambassador for San Francisco was very overly confident. He's an awesome guy. I collabed with him uh, two weeks ago for the uh, 49ers game on his channel. Uh, very good guy, but he was very overly confident and deservingly so. It's San Fran versus Miami. But Miami was very humble and actually said that he had, you know they had a good chance of winning this game. It looks like they're gonna do that. So I mean that, that's nice. Uh, so let's get back onto the Giants versus Cowboys here. Um, first off, Hub, let me ask you. Who who was the best player on the Giants team and who was the worst? Uh, like, like, who's the guy that we should applaud and who's the guy that should be cut immediately? 
The guy that should be cut immediately. I got two for you on um, uh -huh. Nick Gates and Cam Fleming. Um, Couldn't I think agree more, I've already my them on them enough. <laughs> um, I still want Nick Gates cut more because he's been on my nerves since last week with all the high snaps. He had a bunch of high snaps this week. And even though, yes, it was Fleming that cost us that trick play, which is why he should be cut because he cost us that touchdown, mm -hmm. Nick Gates leading up to that play on that drive was the reason we couldn't get a first down on that drive with the delay of game with the main Joe Judge had to take his timeout. And then the very next play, what do you know, a high snap that mm -hmm. made Daniel Jones have to throw the balls out of bounds. So, and the person that, you know, that was the best was Devontae Freeman, but it's unfortunate that Jason Garrett isn't using him enough. Right. And, and, and I completely agree with you there. Devontae Freeman, uh, when Darius Slayton's been called, he's been doing a great job as well. Um, you know, one, one guy I wanted to see more was Jabril Peppers. You know, Jabril Peppers had a really good first drive, a really good couple of, uh, a couple of drives there where he was getting tackles in on the run game and stopping guys short uh, or stopping receivers short uh, the first down. Uh, but we haven't seen too much of him afterwards. I don't know if they're using him differently or he's out there more in coverage. But, uh, I mean, you got to play to your strengths here. Um, I'm interested to see how Jabril Pepper's going to play. He's definitely probably one of the better players on our defense right now. Um, and we got to see more of Blake Martinez. We really haven't seen much of Blake Martinez, right? I mean, well, I, I don't know what you mean by we need to see more of Blake Martinez. Well, he's there on the field. We just like need to see him playing better. Small. Right, we, yeah. we we didn't see exactly how he was, you know, getting tackles for loss and run stopping, you know, uh, like like prior weeks, you know. Well, I guess I just don't like the way the play calling on both sides of the ball, but I'm gonna continue saying I'm more disappointed in defense. It got worse and worse as the quarters went on. I don't know what happened with Patrick Graham. It, the defensive play calling and the, and the defense as a result just kind of went downhill right. from the beginning of the game to now. I really hope with this fumbling issue that Daniel Jones has. Look at this. Look at they're, they're replaying the play, man. It was such a beautifully designed play. Such mm -hmm. a beautifully designed play. I oh, still don't I see it. I see it. Fleming was, was way off the line. Way off the line. He wasn't he wasn't lined up properly. He wasn't lined up properly. I mean, this is textbook stuff. You look at him, there's a, there's a huge gap between, like, you got to, with the offense, you got to be lined up correctly. Defense, you can line up wherever you want, but offense, you got to line up correctly. Mm-hmm. Man, Chase Claypool had four touchdowns. My God, he's on the waivers on almost every freaking league I'm in. <sighs> I, 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 and, Jones, um, and Jones wasn't playing a terrible game. He was good under pressure. He made the right decisions, just had that fumble. Had that fumble. You know, that's listen, 13 of 19. Get the ball back to start the half. Garrett, um, run the ball more than anything. Literally replicate the first drive where we got a touchdown. You ran the ball. You passed it like two or three times on that entire drive, and you got it into the end zone for a touchdown. Right. That's what we need to do, man. Unreal. Oh, mm -hmm. I'll hold my tongue on that one. What are you saying? I said I'm going to hold my tongue on that one. <laughs> on what? I was going to say something, but I'll, I'll say it later. Oh, man. Let's get, let, let's adjust the chat a little bit. Let, you guys, chat, you guys need to help me out a little bit. G give, me some, give me a confidence boost in my life, man. <laughs> well, if there's a confidence boost, Giants fans on Twitter right now are saying, that the refs are helping out the Cowboys a lot. And I got a picture here of just, it says group photo of the Dallas Cowboys and it's just the refs. There we go. Mm. I don't like that call though with the illegal shift. Though. I'm going to let it play out. I mean, it had nothing to do with the, there was nobody even lined up. Nobody was lined up. You got to be kidding me. This is the best first half offensively we had though. Probably the worst first half defensively though like all the time yeah we're worst first half defensively best first half for the offense i mean let's keep in mind the offense still only scored 13 points you know that 20 points obviously um you know with the seven of them was was from the uh the defense so mm -hmm. that being said i mean the giant the, the giants offense definitely needs to play better especially this the, against this dallas defense which is not good and they're definitely gonna move up their ranks if the giants let them they keep this, playing like this. They're going to make the Giants, uh, the Dallas defense move up in defensive ranks. Like I said, man, I'm really about a, mm, I'm really, 
Oh my god, did Alex Smith play today? Yeah, he did. Oh Jesus Christ. Yep. He How did played. he do? Uh he didn't he was normal. I mean it's against the Rams and they, they were their team is just not good enough, so the I right, listen man, this is what I'm gonna say. Defense just get it together. I'm so disappointed in them. Just just get it together, man. Just get it together. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, I think this is the end of the halftime. All right, we're coming back, guys. We're coming back. Hopefully, the halftime adjustments are working. You guys, you guys also let me know if you guys can hear uh, Hub correctly. Uh, and everything. I, I never got a sound check in with you guys, so you guys just let me know. Oh no, it's another commercial. Oh, it's another commercial. You gotta be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. I, I can't even tell what it's a commercial for. Giants still in the game. What happened had happened. And Judge holding court right now. All Listen, rise. Joe Let's Judge, go, Giants. You know Joe Judge tore into them. He is tearing them a new one. You know he how is, many opportunities we had in this making, game? Bro, he's making Cam Fleming. He's making Nick Gates. And he's making that defense cry right now. And Jones. Jones, for crying out loud. Both, both these teams have defensive touchdowns. This. I will be, I'll be right back, guys. While he's gone, let me address the chat if uh, anybody's in here. <laughs> we got Ligman who changed his name once again to now it's Sam Darnold is better than DJ. He says the refs are listening that we paid by Lil Baby. Okay, I'm assuming you meant to say they're listening to the song. Okay, then. Tony B, shots to Tony P. He says Matt Peart must be put in. It can't be worse. I agree with you. I was about to say that to um KB before KB stepped in. I was like, yeah, we, we should – Put in Matt Purr or at least like have the guy in here or some after that just complete mishap by Cam Fleming. Joe, yeah, Giants is still in this game. Yeah, man, let's keep it together, man. Edward Chan says Bradbury's playing fine. You've heard from him. You haven't heard from him. That's Thomas's fault. You can't blame Jones for that. It is Thomas's fault. It, it is 100% Andrew Thomas's fault. He completely missed on that block and then obviously it went into DJ, which you would call it, um, fumbling. What I'm going to say though is nobody should half off the Andrew Thomas string because he's a rookie and rookies are going to have bad games. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> she got sports still here. She says, I am nervous. I I just want this defense to come out and play like it's played like during weeks one, two, and then last week. That's all I want to have. I want the defense to come out and play, and I want J.C. Garrett to run the ball, and I think we'll be fine if that happens. Um, Perth definitely has to come in for, for Fleming, man. I think he might be starting next week after this complete just, oh, just disgusting game by him so far, Um, by Fleming so far. As it looks like we're getting ready to, to receive the kickoff here. Oh, man. Let me listen to what Jim Nance and Tony Romo has to say. So, according to Tony Romo, this is just how the Cowboys have been playing all season, which is low-key true. They showed at the beginning of the game. The Cowboys in the first quarter are probably the worst team in the first quarter. In the second and third, they become even with their whoever they're facing, and then in the fourth, they completely outscore whoever they're they're facing in the fourth. Man, uh, Edward says bad dogs off the Andrew Thomas train. I mean, fine, you know he's his own person. If he's off the Andrew Thomas train, he's off the Andrew Thomas train. Personally, I think it's kind of stupid for anybody to be off the Andrew Thomas train because he's a rookie. He's gonna have a bad game. It's his fifth game of his career. He's a rookie. He's gonna have a bad game. He's had four weeks to prepare, you know what I'm saying, before the season began. He's a rookie. He's not a veteran left tackle. He's a rookie. That's all I'm going to say to that. You know what I'm saying? Ah. Let's see here now. We're getting ready out here. Dak Prescott all happy, smiley-faced. We haven't gotten a sack this game yet, by the way. Oh, no, we have the half sack by Golden and our homes. We need to get that defense back man as we get the kick he's running it out up until probably the 24 25 yard line so average return there as jones and the offense comes back out So apparently Dallas has been practicing that trick play all week, huh? 
Yeah, we've been practicing our trick play like all season. Just so happened that the refs caught Cam Plumbing messing up on our trick play. They got called back. All right, man, come on, run the ball. They're they're not showing them again. Please run the ball. It looks like we're gonna run the ball here uh, with Devontae Freeman in the backfield there. Nope, it's a play action. It's a deep shot down the field, completely overshot and inaccurate pass by DJ. That's just a terrible pass by him. Darius Slayton was wide open, bro. That's a terrible throw by Daniel Jones. I, That was one of the worst throws I've ever seen. That was so bad. I am back, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, probably the worst throw of Daniel Jones' career. Play action, really? Darius Slayton was wide open downfield, and he completely overthrowed him. Let's check it out here. Darius Slaying was so oh, open, DJ just shot. Okay. Well, I was saying, man, run, 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 and then they call a play action. Can you run the ball, please? Second down and 10. Sorry about that, guys. I am back. We got a receiver motion and CJ Board. Daniel Jones from the gun. Hand off Devontae Freeman, and Freeman is going to jump yeah, his look, way for a two-yard gain. Now it's a third and long. I wish. I still wish we ran, we ran it on first down instead of pass it, and now it's third and long, man. Third and long. Third and eight. 14 minutes, 30 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Uh, I mean... Jones looks a little not confident. Jones looks a little not too sure of himself right now. It would be stupid to run it here, but that's what you get for not running it on first down, Jason Garrett. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, I would not run it here, but third down that's and eight coming that's up. That's what you get for not running it yeah, on they, first they put down. themselves in a terrible position to, to, to move the ball down the field, especially on third, third down. Jones oh my takes a snap, God. looks coming, right, bro. and Jones gets out the pocket, able to dump it off, He's finds an open down. Slayton for Darius a first down Slayton. who keeps moving down to the 40-yard line. There he is, Slayton. Bailed looks us out like there. A, looking like his rookie self out there this game, man. Well, that's, I mean, Darius Slayton is good. I mean, we all we all know he's good. And I, I told you guys he's not a first, uh, you know, a number one receiver, but he's good. So he's unfortunately our best receiver we have. Use him. Jones Shout did a good job. Uh, oh, my God. What a throw on the run. Great job by Slayton. Terrible tackling by Dallas. Quick snap. Freeman. And, Thank you, Devontae. And I, I, I hate that Jerry Jones does this, but he intentionally opens up the shades and closes them, uh, You know, opens up the shade for, for the offense um, to let the sunlight in so they can't see anything. He, he openly admitted illegal. to that one. Huh? That should be illegal. Yeah, it should be illegal. He openly admitted that one. But the giant, especially guys that wear visors, not going to be a good look for them. Second down and six coming up. I mean, if players know that, though, then they should know not to wear visors at Dallas then. Yeah, the Giants complained about that a couple of years ago. He openly admitted it. He said, hey, I can do whatever the hell I want. Second down and six. Jones from the gun. Th three wide receiver set. Hand off Freeman. Freeman trying to slash his way through yeah. and gains one yard there. Closes up quickly. I don't even think he gained a yard, but he danced way too much. He should have just right. you know, went, forward, went forward and punched it in. Third down and five coming up, and I, I, I would think it sucks that we put we constantly put ourselves in this position, but it seems like another passing situation every time, especially every time Deion Lewis is on the field. It's pretty much an obvious passing yeah. situation. I uh, if if um Devonte could have just you know danced a little less probably punched it up that's probably like a third and three maybe right now and much I more manageable. Got to pull up the chat guys, so I'll be watching you guys in the chat. Third down and five, Jones from the gun. They need this one. He's looking left. He throws left. He drops it's it. Oh, but we have a flag on the field. Jalen Smith seen to have a little too much contact there. And face, Jordan Lewis looks pissed. <laughs> Look at his face. He's, he's like, shocked. What? He's shocked. He's shocked. All right. We got a holding on the defense. Jordan Lewis in his religious. mind right now is Stephen A. Smith. He's like, I've been led astray, <laughs> run amok, absolutely deceived. <laughs> absolutely deceived. Hey, man, but at least we're getting some calls going in the Giants' favor right now. Now run the ball again, Jason. Right. Let's see. Where's the holding? Oh, I see it. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, let's see. That's definitely yeah. a hold. Definitely a hold. He grabbed his face mask. That should be 15. That should be 15. All right, under go, uh, under center. Oh, We've yeah. got a rollout here on Jones's opposite throwing. Oh, it doesn't matter. Evan Ingram for the first down and more. Down Easy. to about the 30, 35-yard line? 
Yeah. I accidentally said Easy. You know, that's Eli. Double E, Evan That's double E. Yeah, never say Easy E. That's, that's Eli's thing. Oh, he did a nice job on faking the block. He Yeah, but he got away with a potential OPI. You know how they're, they're calling a lot of OPIs this yeah. season. He got away with one there. Uh, but good job at Evan Ingram. They're definitely using him. They, they one thing I noticed is that they use Evan Ingram a lot versus the Cowboys. More effectively. Yeah, they use Evan Ingram a lot versus the Cowboys. I know Jesus, that. look at that clear. I'm telling you, I'm telling Daniel. I mean, uh, Jerry Jones does that on purpose when offenses are on the field, when opposing offenses are on the field. All right, we got a pro gun set here. Oh, come on. Potential Thank screen you. set up here, and Jalen Smith read it like a book. Then you know what the thing was? was the, the running backs couldn't get in position, and that sold it for Jalen Smith. Mm -hmm. Jones knew what was going on. The running backs looked confused. All I'm going to say is Jason Garrett, run it on. I've been saying it all drive. Run it on first down. We're Unreal. moving the ball. But we're moving the ball by, by the skin of our teeth. Jason Garrett, run the ball on first down, please. Yeah, you I, I set yourself up for third and long situations. I've been one to really want to work on the screen game, but that was definitely not a time to do that. You know, that was first down. Why do we need to run a screen? You know, I'm telling you, man. I I'm gonna continue saying it until he does it. He hasn't ran the ball on first first down yet this drive. Well, I mean, he has probably like at the beginning, but that's it. Right. Oh, well, we're on commercial break now. The Giants are driving downfield, but with a small setback. We have a Dow injured Dallas player on the field. Who was that? Anybody know? I don't know. 72. 72. I think it's Don. Is that Poe? No, it's, it, may, it may not be Don Terry Poe. Tony B says put Goldman in. Facts. Uh, they throw in cash at the refs at the club. I don't think I don't think the refs are really paid on this one. I mean, there's a lot of games when Dallas Cowboy game where it goes wrong, but I mean, Dallas could have easily not called that uh that holding call. They could have easily mm -hmm. not done that. So and that was a key. That was I was at a third down, right? Wasn't it? Well, can you repeat that? What was it? What wasn't that a third down? The Jordan Lewis penalty? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We're like we're we're getting like moving the ball by the skin of our teeth, which is why I'm like, yo, run the football on first down, so you set yourself up better. Uh, let's see. Now he's gonna get past. He's gonna get gassed, and cause something caused something very bad. And one thing I like about Wayne Goldman, he's been running really hard this year and not looking like he's gonna fumble. That's been a really big problem. You just it, bro. Thank thank you so much, KB. You just jinxed it, bro. What? Oh, <laughs> I did. I did jinx it, right? Why? You had to bring it up, huh? Do I mean, you like being a sad Giants man? It is what it is. <laughs> so that was Tristan Hill. I just checked it out, and Tristan he's Hill. getting part off the field, apparently, according to Twitter. Oh, that's not good. Let's see if his knee buckled. I'd like oh, the man. commercials to go Why away. Why are you calling the screen on first down? I'm just like, so like, please just run. It's not that hard. Run the ball on first down. Just, right. just run the ball. Right. And, and you're talking about a defense that last week gave up 307 yards on the ground. Granted, it's just some good running backs, but, you know, you would think that you would take advantage of that. Uh, Tristan Hill, backup defensive tackle, formerly at a UCF, injured on that play. Uh, let's see. He was the one that, that ran into Jones. Let's see what the heck. That should have been a roughing the passer call. Oh, guess what? Guess what? Buckled what? the knee. Uh, he buckled the knee. There's a lot. Uh, it's unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate how the worst injury possible in football is the most common. That's that's unfortunate. You see it all the time. We're seeing it twice today. All right, what are you doing here? I'm still running it here. I'll probably yeah. I'll run it get closer. I'll run it here and get closer. Maybe even make it like a draw play. I'll definitely run it just because of that glare. You see the glare. I mean, they're yeah, showing they're showing ridiculous. you on the camera. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Second down and thirteen. Jones from the gun, three wide receiver set. No Ingram on the field. We got Levine Toy Lolo, and they are going to run it. Power run. And following his blockers, Devontae Freeman makes it a third down and short coming up. Nice, quick, agile, you know, switch there by Will Hernandez. Yeah, and I knew I knew that would be a run there because uh, Levine Toy Lolo was on the field. You, you know, he's not a passing guy. <laughs> third down and six coming up. Good way to gain back some yardage there. Now makes it third and manageable. Ten minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Uh, I wouldn't say third and manageable, but it's definitely better than like a third and long. Uh, yeah, third and medium to me is third and manageable. 
for this Giants offense? Oh, not not this. You're right. Trips. Uh, we got a bunch to the right. Jones in the empty set takes a snap. Looks left. Now looks right. He's throwing deep down the field for a wide, wide open, open Darius Slay in touchdown. <laughs> Darius Slay touchdown. That's, the, Jones that's exactly. What, oh oh my God. Play. There's a flag on the field. How many times? Jones looks confused. Oh my God. They don't want. I, yeah, Dallas. You're right, guys. Dallas is uh has paid the refs. Jesus. Let, let's take a look at how Joe Judge feeling. Yeah. Let's let, let's get to Joe Judge cam. Let's see. Oh my God. Wide open. All right. Hold on. Pass interference. Offense. Uh. Oh, on Darius Slayton. Hold on. We got to see this. It's a pass interference on Darius Slayton. No, Damian Ratley. Oh. Hold on. He picked him. That's why he was open. All right. All right, fine. This team. This, <laughs> this team, man. Two I'm touchdowns, so, two I'm touchdowns going to wiped off the board, bro. baby. This is, this is legitimately these refs could honestly just. I'm no, but oh at, at the at this point, it's not the refs. That's an obvious pick play. Damian Ratley needs to be more aware on that one. What do you even do here, bro? You you got to go four verts here. Here we go. Here's Jones, pump faking, trying to get the ball out, just throws it away. All right, and the Giants will obviously. Uh, I think they're in field goal range here. Let's see. Here. Yeah, they're in field goal range. The Giants will try to shorten, chip away at this lead. Everson Griffin with the pressure. Scott Linehan, extreme, uh, that's not Scott Linehan, never mind. Nobody was open. Evan Ingram had a look, but uh, those, 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 state, those linebackers are going to close up quick. All right, they're going to punt it, actually. Try to pin them back. Here's Riley Dixon, Pro Bowl punter. That's too, like, there's Two flags on the field, ball. all over the field. Damian Ratley can't get the ball. Oh, God. Let's see what Bro, these that's flags like two are. Tacky calls, not a callback, two Giants touchdowns. Let's see what these flags are. The Giants are falling apart, and they look just plain old undisciplined. <laughs> what just happened? I don't know, but let's see what the call is. Receiving team. All right. Penalty on the receiving team. Too many men on the field. <laughs> it's not us, though. Thank God. They had 12 men on the field. It looked like a little too much, didn't it? <laughs> they looked like, it looked like they had a little too many people on the field. Fourth down and 11. All right, so now we're in field goal range. They're going to attempt the field goal here with Graham Gano. He made 50, 55 and 50 so far today. Let's see how much this attempt is. A 54-yarder for Gano. Straight down the middle. Should be a cheap shot, but you know what? Nothing surprises me here with the Giants. Here's the GOAT. Kick is up and right through the uprights down the middle. Man, Man Graham Gano. Gano should be making the Pro Bowl this year. All right, let's update the score. Uh... Yo, the, the refs are really paid off by Dallas. Bro. Two ticky-tacky calls erasing two Giants touchdowns, man. So the Giants chip away at the lead. Now down one, 24 to 23. Now it's up to the defense to force a stop and the Giants offense to get back on the field. Well, I tell you, man, goddamn. I said at the beginning of the game, but I really didn't expect it to affect us this heavy. We're not disciplined anymore. We don't look disciplined anymore. And it's cost us 14 points. Yeah. And then this defense better get back to what it was. Better get back to stopping that Cowboys offense, man. Get a three and out, Jesus. Yeah, and, and this is something I told I, you know, I, I was talking to you, especially offline as well. That I mean, this Cowboys offense just seems a little too much for the Giants defense. I, I, I'm confident in the Giants defense. I think for the most part, they they held their own today. But the the Cowboys offense is is just extremely potent, and and with the hole there at Ryan, you know, with Ryan Lewis at the cornerback two position, and uh, Darnay Holmes, although I like Darnay, he's still a rookie, still developing, it, you know, it's two two weaknesses there. James Bradbury played pretty strong so far today, but, you know, hey, they've got really talented receivers there, all the way down to the fourth. Cedric Wilson, I know a lot about Cedric Wilson, he's Boise State Bronco, all right, Dallas loves bringing in Boise State Broncos. Listen, but... All I'm going to say is, I can't get back to stopping the run. 
Get back. Don't make Zeke look like Zeke because he hasn't looked like himself all year. Get back to stopping the run. Yeah. Uh, definitely, I, I think Dexter Lawrence and Dalvin are just not having the best best of games this year. They're getting really they, they're getting pushed around at the line of scrimmage. They definitely mm-hmm. need to win that 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 battle in the trenches. Uh, oh yeah, we need to lock Gano up uh, after this game. Oh like yeah, seven, oh yeah. He he term. cannot go get into free agency. And how old is Gano? I think he's in his early thirties, right? He's young for a kicker. Yeah. Let's just put it that so, way. So I mean, we'll be able to keep him around. Yeah. Bro, the MVP of this game is really the refs, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Man. This commercial needs to end. All right. We're back. Got some Dallas fans in the stands. Waiting for the boot by Graham Gano. Slayton is good, but every other wide receiver sucks. Well, I mean, Golden Tate's been pretty consistent besides that drop today, but that was off of a, a penalty, so, I mean, that still worked out and it didn't count as a Yeah, drop. I mean, Evan Ingram has been actually good in receiving game this yeah. game, too. So, I mean, it's not everything. It's just C.J. Board and Damian Riley have no business being on the field right now. And Tony Pollard's going to take this one out. He's at the 20. And, oh, the Giants did a good job there stopping that. And, it almost looked like they were going to force a fumble said, That is completely on Joe Judge because we rolled into this game with four wide receivers again, which was very stupid. Yeah, they definitely need to try to get another guy in there. And Corey Coleman's still sitting out there. Corey Coleman's still on the open market. Or, you know, can we use Austin Mack, who we elevated? Why are we rolling in with four wide receivers? Right, and Austin Mack should be healthy this week, so why isn't he on the field? He is healthy. He wasn't on the injury report. Right, that's what I'm saying. He's healthy. He, he should be on the field. First Come down on, and 10. Giants have been dominating time of possession so far today. Here's Prescott under center. He's going to hand off to Zeke. And Zeke is going to push Come his on. way forward for a Ooh, great gain of I nine. Saying? What am I saying? The run defense is just trash right now. I, I, we just haven't faced a running back like Ezekiel Elliott yet. That's what it is. You know? We have not faced one like Ezekiel Elliott. He's, he's, he's a guy that's just going to run you over. He doesn't really regard... For human life right now. This is ridiculous. And and Dak Prescott, you know, they're, they're great in play action. Dak is on the rollout. Second down and one. Dak under center again. Hand off Zeke again. Zeke picks up the first down and more. Gains about seven or eight there to the Giants' 37-yard line. <coughs> first down and ten coming up. Eight and a half minutes left to go in the third. I don't have anything else to say other than I'm just really, really disappointed by this run defense. They're they're so close, but so far I just seen Dexter Lawrence again, just just almost get there. Dexter is somebody that needs to step up right now. Right. First like down and ten. Power biotish, bro. This is his first game starting. From the gun. Handoff again. Tony Pollard this time stopped at the line of scrimmage. They're gonna give him one though. Second down and nine, coming up. They're lucky that was Pollard, because uh, if it wasn't, Zeke yeah, would have definitely... Yeah, Zeke would have ran right through that. Pollard looked like he hesitated a little bit. Yeah. Second and nine. Can they... down this clock. The Giants just cannot take advantage of a banged-up offensive line. We couldn't do it against Pittsburgh, and we can't do it here. Exactly right. Good point. Second down and nine. Giants playing off a little bit. Play action. They bite on the play action. Wide open is C.D. Lamb open. again, who surpasses 100 yards with that reception. Way First down and 10. Open. There was literally nobody on him. <clears throat> nobody was on this man. Literally, look at this. Nobody was on him. Yeah, they, they, they bit on the play action. That's what it was. Bit on the play action. It was too late for them to realize that they're passing. Bootleg and again, back- and Dallas Schultz is open. Play action. Oh, great job. Not really a great job, but a great job by Dak Prescott throwing it away. <clears throat> Second and 10 coming up. <clears throat> Listen, I'm just happy that a random tight end for the Cowboys is not bowling on us right now. Like, you just jinxed the game. Kid, I, listen, I didn't, I didn't jinx anything, all right? I'm just, I'm just pointing out the facts. Because oh, Blake man. Jarwin had his game against us, and then, you know, a couple of t- tight yards ends. by Cowboys right now, 244. <clears throat> 
Tony Pollard takes Ow. the hand off of the quick snap, and they that? can't stop him. Tony Pollard gets the first down and more. 14-yard gain. That tackle so bad. You were right there. 14-yard gain. And we get Golden freaking right Cowboys there. fans applauding. Look at this. Golden is right there and completely whiffs. Whiffs on that one. Had the opportunity. And then it's like nobody else could get anything, man. Good run by Tony Pollard. Quick snap. Dak Prescott oh, oh, decides oh, oh. to run it on a designed run. Quarterback That's keeper. Right. Can somebody tackle this quarterback? Who almost fumbled. Logan Ryan. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dak Prescott just. Oh, my God. Is that his bone? Oh, my God. Dak oh, Pres Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, like that. holy He's crap. Tackled, mm, my God. Like Taking off. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Already oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy I am a giant crap. fan. I hit the Cowboys, but nobody oh, does. Oh, yeah. Like I'm so. Oh, I don't want to watch that. I don't want to watch that. I don't want to watch that. Jesus Christ. I can't I look at that, bro. I don't oh, watch my that. God. They just showed the replay. I don't want to watch that. This I'm man, not watching it. Not watching God. it. Oh, Jesus no. Christ. <laughs> He's not playing for at least. He's out for the season. Bro, He's ankle, out for the season. His He's ankle out. literally did a 90-degree broken turn, bro. Did it snap? Did it snap or just turned? It slowly? looked like like it went down and it snapped. <sighs> Jesus Christ! Um, listen, I know that this is gonna be very very terrible for me oh, to say. Oh my god! Oh my god! They're gonna they're gonna keep replaying it as all TV stations do. They just want to yeah. keep replaying it. Oh my god! He snaps his leg in half. I uh, do feel. Uh, that, that was oh Jesus Christ! Well, we're gonna see Andy Dalton for the rest of the season and in this game. Dak Prescott's here's done. Thing, um, Prescott is done. Here's the thing. Andy Dolan is actually a good a quarterback. A good quarterback, right. And should be so, accustomed to as, any as defense. As much as a better chance as the Giants have winning this game now because Dak is out on um, Andy Dolan. <laughs> Ramiro so said it's dislocated. I, I, that's, that's a funny good. way of saying dislocated. That thing that snapped in half. <laughs> That looked like his ankle was like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to give up. And it just Caden said did a full 180. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his ankle really did like a 90-degree broken turn. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. You know, uh, I, I, thought it, I, I thought it was like a listen, compound fracture in his calf or something because his calf was protruding. Killing, but the killing, reason his calf was protruding to his socks was because his ankle was twisted in that yeah, direction. Right. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, one thing Kellen Moore will not do ever again is called a design run. He's not, that, he's not Cam Newton. <laughs> that was a designed run. The, the offensive line was already out of there but by the time he ran. They knew what they were doing. That's the last, first, and last. I've never seen Dak Prescott on a design run. I you know don't know if that's a thing. I, I already said I feel sorry for Dak because obviously nobody deserves that, but he's once again, he's still seeking a long-term contract. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I'm about to say. Now, what are the conversations now? Is he going to be seeking a long-term contract? Oh, my God. Dalton's going to be rusty. Well, I hope so. Jesus, I, I'll take I this. Listen, I'll so take this bad. win all the way to the bank. I'll yeah, take it all I'm, the way to the bank. It, I ain't it complaining. Listen, our chances of winning did increase. Don't let it fool you. But it's not 100% yet because Andy Dalton. Well, guess what? You know they're going to rely on on Zeke a lot now. So they, get this man off the field already. I, I, what the hell are you doing? Take this man to a hospital. We're Why trying is to continue this field? game. They, yo, oh Dallas Cowboys God. medical is not good. He should be at a hospital right now. It's probably all swollen. Oh, Jason Garrett went over there. I'm telling you, bro, he's on the payroll. <laughs> he's on the payroll. <laughs> Dak, this wasn't part of the plan, Dak. Yeah, Dak's teammates are obviously worried. I don't know. He really should be well, at Well, look, then now they're all saying, damn, our season's over. <laughs> our season's over. I mean, it probably wouldn't really was, but... Oh, God. Yo, Michael Gallup. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, change the score in the third quarter. Thank you. Who said that? Nikki. Nikki, the GOAT. Shout out to Nikki, man. The GOATs change the third quarter. Yo, at least, thank God they're not showing the replay because I can't watch that again. The way his ankle They're broke. doing a good job not showing the replay because how many times okay. have we seen injuries where they're just like, let's see it again. Let's uh, analyze how it snapped. Jesus Christ, they're not moving him at all. That is, how many injuries this game, guys? We got we got Lorenzo Carr for the Giants, torn Achilles, and you saw how that affected the defense. Tristan Hill for the John, um for the Cowboys. I don't know what Tristan Hill went out with, and not Dak Prescott. I don't know what you call that—a mangled oh ankle. Oh my god, mangled ankle. A man just a mangled ankle. Talk about an ankle buckle, huh? 
Uh, he, I, I feel for him. You see him crying and everything. Like, I feel why is everybody him. holding his head? I mean, li they, listen, the guy's freaking in pain right now. Stop hitting his head. What the hell? I mean, they're showing support, but like, I feel for that. Right, He's but if I'm hurt, I'm annoyed. Like, don't get anywhere near me. I'm in pain. Like, <laughs> Jesus. Like, and he was bawling out too. Uh, Dak was having a really good season. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah he's crying too. But uh. Yeah. Damn, bro. He's he. I feel really bad for him. I mean, you know, oh, I think. You I think you think maybe they they put it back in place. That's why they were they were out for so they they were there for so long. Probably, but he's definitely out for like I want to say the rest of the year, but I don't he's, know. Maybe. He's de no. There's no way it's week five already. There's no way he's coming back, and I don't think Dallas is not making any type of playoff run. So I feel for him, man. I I feel I do feel for him. I actually have respect for Dak da Prescott. Sure. He's been bowling out, especially fantasy numbers. I mean, he's yeah. he's probably been one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Yo, he's making me tear up a little bit. I do feel for him. I hope he has yeah. a good recovery, man. Nobody deserves that. Speed of recovery. Speed of recovery. He's got a he's got a good uh, beard game, though. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, I, that's what I was doing. So I'm like, yo, Dax beard this yeah, year. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little I'm a little jealous. I need a I need a beard game like that, man. I, I, damn, I do feel sorry for him. Yeah, Nikki said he's damn, he's crying, feel bad. Yeah. All right. That Andy Dalton's in. Can we take advantage of this though? Not a Andy Let's Dalton. Swipe the tears. Andy Dalton's in the game under center. CD matched up on Darnay, and he's going to be sacked as soon. Welcome to the Cowboys. As soon as Andy da, Dalton da, in, the Dalvin Giants get a sack. That's what I'm talking about. Dalvin Tomlinson has a snack. <laughs> it's Andy Dalton. As who is soon sacked as man, immediately. That's it, hey, that's one thing, like I said. Oh, don't be as mobile as Dak is. Uh, the Giants seem like they, uh, I thought they had a little bit too many men on the field right now. I think they do. I think they have too many men on the field. Oh, never mind. I think they're all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight. Oh, yo, Andy Dalton's audible is big blue. That's funny. Okay, <laughs> I'm dead. All right. Oh, what's Time the out on the Giants. I'm telling you, there's too many men on the field. I'm telling you. Telling you. There was too many How's men on the, the flag field. not out there immediately, though? Huh? If that if that's the case, the flag would be out there, like, immediately. Yeah, but they called a timeout. No, no, no. They, they only called the flag once the ball is snapped. Bro, I feel bad for Dak, man. They really got the cameraman following this man all the way into the medical. <laughs> How you feeling, Dak? How you feeling? What's the leg looking like? What a great signing from before the season. Like Everybody said it was a great signing when they got Andy Dalton. It's definitely going to come in handy now. <laughs> that says the football team division champs. <laughs> imagine, imagine Washington football nope. team division champs. Nah, but Philadelphia put up a lot of points today. They're, they did. They're slowly, like, they did, but they still lost. They they still lost, but they that was the most they put up all season. All right. Third and six coming up. Third, th this quarter is going by really slowly, and it's kind of making me angry. I mean, it's going by slowly because of the injury. Right. So, from the gun, third down. I mean, yeah, third down and six. Giants send four. But Dalton looking for an open man. Who other than C D freaking Lamb? Lamb? Unreal. Cannot guard First this First down. Man. He should change his name to the unguardable C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb. What kind of camera work is that? Uh, catch. Well, for those of you that were Clean. saying Dalton might be rusty, um, I don't know. Giants need to go back in man defense. This zone is not working out. Seven yeah. receptions, 114 yards, and all C.D. Lamb need needed to do was find open zones. I'm telling you, bro. They need to call the defensive plays that they had during the first Hand off to Zeke, and he's untouched in the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys. Well, I say, man, they need to go back to whatever they were calling on the first defensive drive. I'm going to change the score. I'm going to assume they get the, the, the PAT. 31-23. This run defense is atrocious right now. Look at that. He ran through everybody. Oh, I know. Ain't nobody was there. Whiff tackle by Golden. Whiff tackle by Tay Crowder. Man, we're missing Saquon so much right now. This would have 100% been a Saquon versus Zeke game. And the extra point is good. 31 to 23. Zeke was absolutely untouched. Oh, shout out to Giants Opinion Sports in the chat. One of my channel members, man. <laughs> he says this defense can't tackle. This game, 100%. Like every other game, like last game, for example, you were getting tackled no matter what. This game, no tackles. Yeah. And where, where's Blake Martinez at, man? <laughs> Jesus. Where is he at? 
I'm putting it on Graham, bro. These play calls are whack. It's because you know, another reason you know it has to be him is because of the success they've had previously. Yeah. Oh, man. Why am I getting a, uh, a voting ad? <laughs> Cindy McCain is endorsing Joe Biden. Go figure. <clears throat> Time to go and check out what people are saying on Twitter. <laughs> oh, don't even don't even touch Twitter right now, man. Don't even uh, touch Twitter right now. We, we went from we went from the fifth ranked defense. We're probably gonna drop all the way down to the eleven, twelfth. We, we gave up we gave up twenty four points already defensively. Second Good. most all year. But then again, we should have expected this, right? Think about this right now. The Cowboys offensive line is missing three starters. The Giants defensive line is playing the worst game all season. They are. Think they that. actually that you, you made a good point there. They they're playing the worst run they they're playing the worst run defense uh, all all season. Uh, their pass and defense has been all right. Yeah, but the pass the you know pass rush is trash. All right, the pass the, the uh, it's all right. We're getting definitely not getting the sacks we want. How many sacks do we have today? Two. 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 So yeah, the 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 the, the Holmes and Markin combination. Uh, Marcus combination and the uh, Dalvin Tomlinson. I oh, don't know, man. CBS has a lot of commercials. Can we do something on offense? Yeah, right. Can we? Can we answer here? Can we start? Matt Pert. Just put Matt Pert in. Just why not? If we can get a touchdown here, if we can get a touchdown here, um, we'll be right back in it. If Defense we get a touchdown, if we get a touchdown here, yeah. guess what? We get a touchdown r- right here. I'm going for two. Why not? Yeah, I am too. I'm but I don't. Two. I don't have confidence in getting it though. All right, but but I mean, there, bro. Jesus Christ. Right, that glare. Guarantee you they'll close it up when Dallas uh, when, when we switch quarters and Dallas is on the other side. Guarantee you they close it up. All right. Cowboys X Factor is crying right now. I feel for you, yeah. X Factor. I feel you, man. I feel you. Trust oh, me. Oh man. Dak is out for the. Yeah, Cowboys. you guys have Andy Dalton. Like Andy Dalton, I. Don't be surprised if Andy Dalton carries this game right now. Yeah, Z- it's Andy Dalton. Man. Yeah, and, and I, you know, it's crazy how when teams get former starters as backups, that somehow they wind up playing. It's Real crazy. quick, can we run the ball on first down, please? Right, bunch to the right. I don't think this looks like a run formation, but it is. No, it's a play action. Jones gets out the pocket and almost finds a man. It's dropped. Well, bobbled no. by Darius Slayton. It's going to be dropped. Second down and ten coming up. He's not able to come uh, up with a catch. Saying because I could see the future right now. They're signing themselves up for a third and wrong, third and long. Uh, wow, Darius, come oh, down with that. Lee, Darius. You're oh little, my god, like offense, bro. He can't catch Crying a thing. Crying out loud. Darius Lane couldn't catch coronavirus if he went in a crowd of <laughs> 500 people, bro. Absolutely right. Yo, but I keep saying it. They need to run the ball on first down. They're not doing it. Second down and 10. Play clock winding down to 3, 2, 1. They missed. Unbelievable. They get away High with the snap. but de- Oh, my God. Devontae Freeman Devontae able to get out. Freeman. Thank you so get much. get an eight-yard gain there. Nice run by Devontae. There's a flag Thank on the, the field. Flag. Oh, my God. Every positive play we have is a flag. you got to be kidding me. I'm so convinced. You have got to be kidding me. Holding. Yeah. Six, Nick, Gates Dan, Nick Gates again? I told you. Oh. I snap and then holding, bro. Bench this dude, bro. Bench two this things. dude. Nick Gates is done and the refs are paid off. <laughs> two things. I hate Nick Gates' face. He has such a baby face. I might even want to punch it, man. I'm not going to front. Is that a hold? There's... I mean... God. That I is... don't know. Oh my God. Either way, bench Nick Gates one and two... Um, goddamn, the refs are paid off, man. 
Second and 20, bro. Second and 20. Bunch to the right again. Devontae Freeman out in that bunch. Empty set for Daniel Jones. Takes a snap. Looks left. Finds a man left and finds an open Golden Tate who's going to be hit out of bounds. Tackled by Daryl Worley. About four yards to gain. No, not never mind. About 14 yards to gain. Sorry about that. Uh, for the first down. Imagine if we ran the ball on first down. Imagine, right? Imagine if we had a center that was better than Nick Gates, bro. It, it, if we had a center better than Nick Gates, we have that touchdown from the... um. I'm just... Nick Gates needs to go. Third and 13. Deion Lewis is in the game. Play clock winding down to three. Jones takes the snap. Cowboys send the blitz. Jones has an open pocket, but he's going to get sacked down at the 19-yard line. And that's a three and out for the Giants offense. Yeah, man, I'm uh, I'm done with Nick Gates. This is where the Giants start to sink. With this win, Dallas would uh, elevate to the division leader with two wins by week five. <clears throat> All right, Dixon, ready to punt. Punt is up. It's a booming punt. Jeez. C.D. Lamb takes the punt. He's going to try to do something with it. And good job by Corey Ballantine cleaning it up and getting him down. I don't know, man. What do you want me to say right now, bro? Force Dalton to beat you. That's all I got to say, Giants defense. Force Andy Dalton to beat you. So what does that mean? Stop, Zeke. That's what I'm going to say. All right. Second down and 10 coming up. Whew. Look at that glare. Second Set down and 10. 220 left to go. And Dalton gets out and finds an open man. That's Amari Cooper. We haven't seen too much of. That's not Amari Cooper. That is Amari Cooper. We haven't seen too much of Amari Cooper. Good job by Bradbury that we haven't seen too much of him. Right. But, um, yeah, uh, we can't get any pressure on Andy Dalton. At all. At all. Can we get some type of pressure, some type of pass breakup, something? Uh, yo, I'm about to predict what's about to happen, bro. They're going to target uh, C.D. Lamb. Third down and two. C.D. Lamb matched up on Darnay in the slot to the right. Giants seem to be sending a blitz. Let's see if they bluff it. They bluff the blitz, but they send a delayed blitz. And almost an interception! Oh, come on, Bradbury. That was Bradbury the move. Bradbury almost had an interception. That would have been gone to the house. That's the move right there, James Bradbury, bro. That is such a Dalton stared down. Oh, right through his hands. Dalton stared down the receiver a little too long. Almost intercepted. Ball coming back to the Giants offense. Can the Giants offense do something? You know, no, 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 no. Forget can they do something. Kid Blue, look into the camera, bro. Look what? into the camera. Uh huh. Can they run the ball on first down? Can they run the ball on first down? Right. That's all I've been asking for. What an ugly punt for the Cowboys. The Giants are going to have good field position here. I'm going to say this right now, KB. If they don't run the ball on first down, it comes off, bro. It comes off. I'm going back to the T-shirt. <laughs> I know, man. I know. Oh, two touchdowns wiped off the board for the Giants. Both. Both. No, not both. Yo, the Titans should have been forced to forfeit their game, honestly. 
No, man. If they it, no, because if they they're forced to forfeit their game. That means there's a chance that the, the NFL closes down. Trust me, it's 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 it will trickle down to that. Not having that happen. They need to play. They need to play. I want this season to happen. First and ten. A minute left. A minute twenty left to go in the third. Run the ball, please. Uh, First reason, down and ten. Please run the ball, please. And it's a run. Oh, it's a. It was a. Oh, it's an option. Jones looking to run it. <laughs> what the Excellent. hell just? The hell was, what the hell was that? Second down coming up. Second and sixteen coming up. My goodness. Jones falls down. We're looking at a second and 17 coming up as we're getting, we're, we're seeing the old offense come out now. We're seeing the offense that we're used to seeing where we're constantly in second and forever. Alden Smith looks gassed. Snap is taken. Jones looking left. Finding a man, and he's open. It's Darius Slayton. Anthony Brown was covering him, but uh, they got about four yards left to gain before the first down. Third down and four coming up. T.I., what are you saying? What? Yeah, Jones had the fumble today, and it's crazy how I keep saying that. He always has a good game except the turnover, right? Always has a good game except the turnover. Well, Darius Slayton had a Darius, that, that Darius Slayton wide open miss. Can we... But. <laughs> can we not get a three and out? Yeah, can we not get a three and out, please? Can we get a first down at least? All right, that's the end of the third quarter. We're moving on to the fourth. Thank God. Thank God. Let's move on Nick to the fourth. Gates, yo, come on. Sub in Matt Pert, please. Right. At this point, just put in Shane Lemieux at center. I'm so done with him. And while while the commercial is going, I'm going to take a quick little break, a quick little bathroom break. Hold on. Ooh. Let's see. Um. Uh, <clears throat> we got Ti and Giants Opinion Sports here saying that uh Jones is a bust. We got Sam Darnold better than DJ saying that DJ thinks he's Pat Mahomes and I don't like it. I just, I am this offensive line is really getting to me, man. That that play where he got sacked. You know where? I don't even know what to say. Both of the plays where he got sacked, man. Oh, man. Yeah, the offensive line is really just disapp- – I don't even know if it's considered disappointing me because, like, I don't know. I just expect them to be better. Coming off a game where you held Aaron Donald to, like, a half a sack, I I just expected the offensive line to be better. You know what I'm saying? And um, the defense, Jesus Christ. This defense is playing like how Dallas's defense is playing. Like usually plays, I should say. The defense cannot hold the Dallas Cowboys down for anything. This is the 11th overall defense in the NFL. Doesn't look like it, man. Does not look like it. I'll tell you that. Uh, well, what is this commercial here? This new show. <sighs> Let's see what the chat says. <laughs> Dylan said, it's okay, bro. We got this. Amir is like, do we have hope? The offensive line is is indeed disgusting. The offensive line is just terrible. I mean, the offensive line. Nick Gates got to go. Like, all I was, I was almost done with him last week because of the high snaps. This week, he's just straight trash. He got to go. Matt Perch should have, should really step in for Cam Fleming at this point. It's been enough time for him to step in. Uh, Kenny, what I was expected was for our defense to at least perform up to what they're supposed to be. The defense is a fringe top 10 defense. So while the Cowboys are a top three offense, yeah, I expected the Cowboys to put up points, but it's so easy for them. It's almost as if they're playing a defense that isn't fringe top 10. That's what I expected. Oh, man. Let's see here what's happening. What is this? Third and six. A lot of movement, a lot of audibles going on. Takes the snap. Tosses it downfield. 
And it's caught by Darius Slayton. Somehow, some way, Darius Slayton gets that ball in. Wow. He was completely covered. Why do I keep missing this stuff? Oh my god. That was just an amazing rainbow throw. What the Darius hell? Oh my god, I just saw the replay. I just saw Darius the replay. Darius Slayton. Jason A one-handed grab. Unreal. Jason. Let me just say that Jones dropped that in the bucket too. Let me that just say. Well, Darius Slayton, Jason Gary, you see what happens when you use Darius Slayton. Can man? I just can I just say that that was a a a, 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 a freaking bucket right there? Jones called a timeout. Oh, yeah. oh, we're, it, it, that's not good that we we're rolling into this fourth have quarter. Let me change. Quarter. Let me change the quarter right now, guys. I'm just gonna say, Jason Gary, see what happens when you use Darius Slayton. We've been telling you to do that, but can you do with the other thing we told you to do? Run the ball on first down, please. You're at like, you're at good field position right now. Please run the ball. What down was that? That was third and six, and they passed the Darius Slayton catch. Now it's first and ten. Oh my God, that was an amazing catch. 106 yards for Darius Slayton so far today. Six receptions. They came back from the quarter pretty quickly, man. What the heck? Come on, man. This defense has to make Andy Dalton beat them because Zeke is going off. Yeah, right. All right, Jones under center. Looks to be a run formation. It's going to be a play action knowing Jason you, you, Garrett. You may get what you want here. Let's see. It's a run on first down, and Goldman is able to get all he can. All he can, and good shifting, uh, good shifting movement by Goldman. That's and why you run about it on six there. Down, man. That's why you run it on fourth down. Look, it's a second and four. Gains about six there. It's funny how uh, how uh, Jerry Jones didn't close the shade. Now the Cowboys can't see, <laughs> and that might be a good thing. That's gonna you be a good thing. Nick Gates is still in this game, bro. Huh? Why haven't we cut Nick Gates yet? Mid game. <laughs> Mid game. Sorry. Go home. Walk home. Just go home, bro. I'll call you an Uber to the airport. Second and four, Jones in the gun. I want, I want them to run so bad here, it doesn't look like they will. Jones takes a snap, it is another run. It's Goldman, finding some room. Goldman down to the 14 yard line. Goldman said, I am the mini Saquon. <laughs> Goldman looks I, really you shifty. You know what's good about this? Goldman has very, very fresh legs, so that's why he's getting a lot right, of yards. Right, and look how out. he got skinny there. That was he nice. Has very, very fresh legs right now. He hasn't look at this. used that all. Look how he got through that line, wow. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good job. Very fresh legs by Wayne Gallman. Good job by Gallman. Gives the Giants a first down. Four rushes, 23 yards for the fourth-year running back. Gallman. Uh, now damn. gaining yeah, a yard there. Time. You win some, you lose some with the run game. It is what it is. Second down Dallas and nine coming up. Time straight up. What? I said Dallas just got there in time straight yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was, like, already two or three people there when he was making his cut. Yeah, when you when you stick to the run, you're you're bound you're bound to get stuffed for one of them. Run it again. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. We love Run it. it again. We love it. Second down and nine coming up. Twelve and a half minutes left to go in the fourth. Alden Smith looks tired. I hope that he that does. Actually... He looks gassed, doesn't he? His stance is not all all there. Yeah. Jones takes the snap. Screen set up for Goldman and Goldman. It tries Ooh. to fight for all he can there. Gains about four yards there on the second down I don't and nine. Think blocking on the screen was good at all. That was just bad blocking. Yeah, I don't know. Bad what blocking. Was. Bad. I I think they were just confused. I think Dallas was was adapting nicely to that. There for blocking on the screen. Will Hernandez. Oh my God, Joe. Jo I mean Joe Thomas threw Will Hernandez. Yeah. Oh my God. How can you throw a man like that? Third and five. How can you throw a big man like that. Third down and five coming up. This is key for the Giants. They need a touchdown to stay in this game. Deion Lewis goes from split out wide to the running back position. Deion Lewis is in there. Got a trips to the right. Tate looks. I mean, Jones, Jones oh, like, yeah, looking. Pressure's coming, bro. Pressure's coming, and he Who's throws coming? it away. The, the pressure, I was so worried that he was about to get sacked because he. Right, he didn't see it. He didn't see it. All right, we definitely need to take the field goal here, please. Just take the field goal. Not going for it here. And uh, nobody was open. Oh, Ingram. Ingram's not Ingram open. Was, like he was open a little bit. No, he was not open. 
Nobody was open. That's that's the issue, man. That's the issue. The Giants is really struggling in the red zone calling plays. All right. It would be such a Giants thing if Graham Gano misses its 28-yard attempt. <laughs> it, would, it would be a giant thing. For G- Graham's fourth... Oh, my God. He's so up. money. He has this so man freaking is money. Fucker confirmed, bro. 31-26. Giants. Bro. Giants uh, trailing. Straight down the middle, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Graham the Goat Gano, my guy. All right. Now, over on to the defensive side. I'm going to preach the same thing I've been preaching all game, KB. Do what you did on the first drive. <laughs> Stop the run. Stop the run. Make, make Andy Dalton beat you. Yeah, exactly. Make and if Andy fight. Dalton does beat you, you suck. Exactly. You guys all suck. But make Andy Dalton beat you. Don't let Zeke become a man possessed because he already is not at Dak. You know, his best friend is out, basically. I'm turn on my light. He's going to be out here. Oops. Let's see what's up with the, uh, whatchamacallit, with the chat real quick. <laughs> yeah, he is back. Oh, he's back already. All right, I'm going to go take a break real quick. Yeah, no problem. All right, guys. Giants turn on defense. Let's see if they can force a stop here. Jason Garrett's hot garbage. Dallas D is tired. They look tired. They look very tired. And we've been dominating time and possession. That's one of the key things that is keeping us in this game. Although we are losing this game, we are doing well in time of possession. That's one of the one of the keys to winning a football game is dominating time of possession. Make sure you you gas out the opposing defense and so that you can strike at will. We should be up 40 to 24 right now. I wouldn't say 40 to 24, uh, just because we scored a field goal instead of the touchdown. And, I mean, I think that, Dar- that Darius Slayton touchdown it had the right to be called back. I don't think Darius Slayton gets that open um, if it wasn't for that, that pick by Damian Ratley. So, that touchdown, guys, I'm, I'm not counting that as a we should have got that touchdown. Um, Darius Slayton was literally only open because Damian Ratley had that pick play. That is, that's, that's the only reasonable uh, reason there. The routes of the wide receivers are so predictable, yeah. It seems like flag football, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I play in a flag football league, and all the routes are just the same, and defenses could just understand what's going on. Daniel can't capitalize a drive. It's not exactly Dan- – how is that Daniel Jones? Okay, that third down there, guys. Somebody explain to me. Beyond predictable. Okay, so how is that Daniel Jones' fault? Did he call the play? Is he running the routes? Jesus Christ. Why is everything... I, I, you know, give give Daniel Jones his fault when it's his fault. Maybe. Yeah. Do you remember what I said? If we don't score a touchdown, I'm taking off the jersey. <laughs> you see, you can take it off. Hey, we got a field goal, though. You're going to have to cut it in half. <laughs> I said touchdown specifically. Time to take it off. Tony Pollard takes this one out, but it's going to get to the 18-yard line. Good special teams play. Oh, Cam Brown is on the active roster. I just seen him. Let's hope the t-shirts come in handy, man. Take yours off too, bro. <laughs> Literally, since we put them on, we haven't really done anything. Yeah. I don't know. It's up to you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I keep it on for now. In memory of uh, the GOAT, Saquon. Uh, remember, you, you did that in the Chicago game and we lost, bro. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> Fine. Fine. Come all right, on. Let me call this game. Let me call. Let me call this play. All right, two tight ends set. They're going to both motion from left to right. Seems like they're going to run here. Oh, my God, and the ball is dropped. Let's see if the Giants recover it. I don't think they I don't. I think the Cowboys still have it. But the center thought it was a gun play, and he snaps it back. Hey, KB. KB. It's Giants ball. Kid Blue, yes. what did I do? I took off the jersey. I took off the – chat. Chat is witness. I took off the jersey, and we get the ball back. It's what did Giants I say? ball, baby. It's Chat Giants witness. ball. Chat is witness to this historical moment. I took off the jersey. I'm like, none's happening. And as soon as I take off the jersey, we get the ball back. Oh, my God. The center thought it was a gun. It was a gun snap. How do you not feel somebody's hand on your butt? I don't understand. Bro, Jeez. it's working, bro. Take off the jersey, and we immediately get the ball back. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. 
Wow, 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 wow. Oh. 10.55 left to go in this game, and the Giants have great field position here. Come on now. Wow, if we the, don't... the Cowboys have the most fumbles in the NFL right now, and that's pretty much thanks to Ezekiel Elliott as well. Listen, yo, listen. If we don't score with this field position, it's over. Right. First down and 10. Jones under center. Three tight ends set. It's going to be a flip for Ingram, and Ingram is going to sweep outside to the right and get a, about a seven-yard gain there. Good play. Second down coming up. The clock's still ticking. Listen, we got to do something here. I don't have anything else to say other than just score. Just score. That's it. Right? Just win, baby. <laughs> We're the Raiders today, huh? <laughs> no, I'm on bid. What happened? Second and four coming up. Freeman's in the backfield. Jones under center. We got a motion, man. It's CJ Board. In a tight formation, they run the ball. They're all over it. Freeman knocked about two or three yards behind the line of scrimmage. Third down coming up. Wow. Dallas really blew up that play. Really blew it up. That 98 got through, and then whoever got to tackle him. Freeman should have kicked it out right. She, yeah. Freeman should have bounced right. It was open. I'm telling you, bro. Nick Gates needs to be fired or he needs to be cut. Bench just, at least. At least bench. He's Third been... down and six. The Giants, please capitalize here. Please capitalize. Jones takes the snap off the blitz. An open man. It's Slayton, I think. Yeah, I think that's going to make the catch for the first down to the Giants. I mean, to the Cowboys five. It's great first that we goal. got the first down. It's just that we're terrible in the red zone. Right. I, I think the less space we have, the worse we get. Ain't that right? Yeah. Yeah, but Slayton was just open, sitting there in the spot. Yeah, and good job by Jones recognizing that quickly instead of waiting. Because that's that's been his issue. Jones surpasses 200 yards on the day. Darius Slayton, 115 on the day. 115. We got a pistol formation here. First time we've seen that this season. Weird play action for Daniel Jones. Looking for a receiver. Throws it away. Yeah. A receiver was on the ground there. I'm surprised there's no type of defensive holding call or anything. That was a terrible Look, play action. It was definitely designed so that Golden Tate would have gotten open, but they read that. Yeah, and, and Deion Lewis did not. Did not play, uh, uh, That's you know. Bowling, no? I don't know. Okay, I guess not. Second and goal oh. here. Let's run the ball a little bit, please. And let's run the ball. If we don't get there, third down, roll out. That's it. Yeah. Like like how every offense does it, right? Except us. Run Except the ball. Us. If we run don't get ball. a third down, roll out, and DJ could possibly run it in with his legs. Clock running down to three. Hand off Freeman. Freeman. Pushes his way for the touchdown. <laughs> hey, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's you know get why it. we got that? Two things. We ran the football. We ran and also, the football. We took off the jerseys. We ran As the football and took off the jerseys. Freeman oh is loading up on fantasy, though. Exactly. Bam. Giants recover as soon as we what take off. What a good push by Freeman, too. I don't know if anybody helped him or if that was all himself. What a good push by Freeman. Let's see if the oh, Giants go for two here. They're going for two. Oh, God. Oh, I'm not happy about this, but they're going for two, trying to make Chat. it 34-31. Jones, Chat. take the snap. Roll out. Nobody's open. What do you know? Oh, Jones looking for a wide open. Andrew <laughs> Thomas for the two-point conversion. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm talking baby. about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Andrew Thomas is a bust, bro. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, bro? Andrew Thomas is a bust. Yeah. What are you talking about? He's Andrew a bust. Andrew Thomas has more points than any other left tackle in the NFL right now. Andrew, Andrew Thomas is a bust, bro. What are you talking about? Oh He's a bust. Oh, my God. Let's change the score. 34-31. Who would have known we would have been in this predicament right now? Not even predicament. Who would have known we'd be in this position right now? Yo, listen. KB, I'm going to ask you to trust me whenever I say take off the jersey, put on the jersey from now on. <laughs> I'm definitely I'm clipping. <laughs> I'm definitely clipping what we just did. I'm sorry. I'm definitely clipping. Sure. 
All I'm saying is, yo, chat, you guys bear witness. Oh. Jerseys came off fumble recovery, bro. Touchdown, two point conversion. <laughs> somebody oh clipped that and put God. it on Twitter. Somebody clip it and put it on Twitter. <laughs> Some, I know somebody could clip it and put it on Twitter. Come on now. Uh, the, the, the call Ooh. and everything. The call and after it, do it. Bro, do just it. clip it. Just clip it from the fumble, straight up. Just clip oh, it from the fumble. Oh, man. What a Chat, how y'all doing, bro? How y'all doing? Where's the tank for Trevor at? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, man, bro. 34 points. Didn't I tell you, Hook? Didn't I tell you that Dallas defense is that bad? Didn't I tell you that they're, they're, they're that bad? You did say that. They're you, that bad. I'll give you that. You did say that. They are Didn't that Didn't I bad. tell you the jerseys were real, bro? All right, you told I'm me. I'm a very you superstitious got me. man. You got me. You got I'm a me. very superstitious yeah. man. Sometimes <laughs> it pays off. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, what in the world? Streamyard just went blank for me. Okay, Good. it's back. Okay. I don't know what that was. They're getting All right, too, bro. That's what we're talking about. <sighs> Here's the thing. Jones needs some touchdown passes. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, he has two touchdown Listen, passes. Listen, if we're winning, season. I really don't care. Right. But right. definitely for his personal stats, he's still 2-5 and five right now. Right. Oh, oh man. Oh, they if are anybody that managed bad. to clip that, bro, you need to tweet it and at me and Kid Blue, bro. Right. Let's make it go viral. Let's, let's put it on giant social media. <laughs> Facts, bro. Oh, man. Giants fans react to <laughs> to Devontae Freeman touchdown and uh, fumble. Andy Dalton fumble. So Come Andy on. Dalton got sacked and he fumbled. In the limited time he was playing. In the about half a quarter he's played. So, um, good luck, Cowboys fans. Cowboys, X Factor, if you're in the chat, man, I, apologize. I I send my regards. All right, defense, hold it down. Yeah, hold it down, defense. This should give you a big yeah. boost of morale. It could flip like that, bro. <laughs> this could really flip it like really, that. It really can, but... I, it really can. But I, I, I think without Dak Prescott, we'll be all right. Should be all right. He has a huge boot behind the back of the end zone. 8.46 left to go in this game. So he was an eligible uh, receiver. He almost dropped it. <laughs> he He's almost dropped it. Some Giants fans are getting on my nerves, bro. So the Giants tweeted out the play, and the first comment is he needs to block better. I'm like, bro. He's a rookie. Oh my God. Ah. And he's had a really good uh, season so far compared to who he's been facing. First Come and on. 10. Dalton, handoff. Zeke Elliott going nowhere. What did I say? Stop the run. Stop There's the run. There's a flag on the field. Ah, oh, we got a face mask. We got a face mask on our Marcus Golden. On Why him. do we get happy, bro? Hmm? <laughs> it's crazy how we shift we our, happy, our, our moods really quickly. Personal foul, face mask, Marcus Golden. Free 15-yarder right there. 15-yard run. <laughs> My God. Marcus Golden. Let me see this. Let me see this. Let me see this. Oh, God. At first, he didn't mean it, but... <sighs> Marcus Golden. Uh, what time are you at, by the way? Uh, 822, 821, 820, okay. 819. All Let right. me know when you 8-10. All right. Uh, Michael Gallup for the reception, almost for the first down. It's at 812. Okay. 810. Bet. Come on now, defense. Second and two. Do something. Second down and two. 7.55 left to go in this game. Cooper in motion from right to left. Dalton hand off to Zeke. He's going to bust right through the line and get Zeke, to the yeah. Giants' 45-yard line first down. He's They're going to rely heavily on Zeke yeah. in this drive. I'm telling you, man, they need to stop him from being that man possessed, or we're gonna we're gonna lose possibly. We got about seven and a half min minutes left to go in this game. 
Come on now. Let's try to adjust the chat a little bit. Oh, man. First down. Oh, like they're running again. Hand off Zeke. And he's going to gain about four there to the Giants. 41. Can we make Zeke fumble again, please? Right. He, he like, leads the NFL, uh, leads the running backs in fumbles. Can we just make him fumble? His hands haven't been safe this year. Second down and six. Just under seven okay, to go in the game. Right now. Fox regrets not having this as America game of the week right now. Oh, yeah, they definitely do. They definitely do. Zeke is out wide, but he's going to come right back. Giants seem to be playing zone here. Handoff again for Zeke. And Zeke's going to get the first. That's the first down. Man. Three straight runs for Zeke. You would think they'd be able to stop it. I don't know what in the world happened to this run defense, but it just disappeared. Well, they're, disappeared. they're definitely getting in field goal range. I hope this does not hit overtime. Why don't we have... We don't have all three of our big guys out there at the same time, bro. We don't have Leonard yeah, Williams. Yeah, we got BJ Hill Excellent. is out there. Like this play we do. Here's a handoff again. This time it's Tony Pollard. And good job by Adrian Colbert and Leonard Williams. What did I say? The Leonard run Williams there, a loss of one. That wasn't on the field last time. And right. we had him on the field with the rest of them. And look, it's a loss of yardage. Second and 11 coming up. 5.30 left to go in this game. The worst thing that could happen is that we're in a situation where we need more than one timeout because we only have one right now. The 35-yard line. Dalton in the gun. Three wide receiver set. CD Lamb in the slot. Dalton open. Under pressure. He's going to dump it off for Tony Pollard. And Pollard is going to get close tackle. to the first down. You can't tackle, bro. Unreal. The clock's still you running. Who was that? That was right on him. That should have been a tackle for loss. Right on him. Who was that? And just could not tackle. That was Darnay Holmes. Darnay Holmes, man. Tackle better. And then, by the way, 88 was wide. Not 88. One of the 80, I think it was Dalton Schultz, was wide open in the middle. All right. At the 31-yard line. Dalton making calls at, on uh, from the gun. Hand off Pollard. And he's going to get the first. Down to the 24. Out of curiosity, did we have two or all three of our big guys out there? I uh, can't see. Because I see. feel like if we know we're gonna, that they're going to uh, run it, why no, don't we BJ have BJ Hill is in there. That's what I'm saying. Like If we know that they're going to rely on the run heavily for the rest of the game. Could be fatigue. Why don't we have all three of them out there? Could be Dexter on fatigue. They've been running the ball all drive. They passed twice. It's a flip for Cooper, and Cooper is going to go nowhere. Tackled for a loss right of three. Peppers. Good job, I Jabril Peppers, as we get to the 340 mark in the, uh, in the game. They're about to gain like eight yards on a run. Don't Come jinx on. it, man. <laughs> Second and 12 coming up. 330 left to go. I am trying to jinx it. I'm trying to jinx the Cowboys' run. <laughs> Why is Peppers off the field? No. From the 25. Yeah. Colbert oh, is Colbert's the, the high safety. Flying out there. Dalton rolling right, looking left. And he, oh my God, what a blow up at the screen by Kyler Fackrell. Austin Johnson also there. But great job. Fear the beard. <laughs> Tyler Fackrell doing work, bro. He's they, doing work. They they saw that coming from a mile away. Look look what yeah, they look, did. They're all calling it. They were all yeah. calling it over there. Boom! Great job there, setting up the screen. I mean, uh, blowing up the screen. Third down and nineteen. The Giants are gonna play prevent here. You know they're gonna allow some yards through the middle. You know they are. Here's Dalton. There's C.D. Lamb open in the up right up the middle. I knew that was gonna happen. Knew that was gonna happen. Fourth down, and they're gonna try a field goal here. So uh, they, we, need, we, need a, we need a touchdown when we get back on offense, bro. They're definitely going to take it to the two-minute here. We need a touchdown when we get back on offense. 
Because I don't know. Do we have the do we have confidence in this offense to run out the clock and get a field goal and maybe leave like thirty seconds on the clock for Dallas? Yeah, I, or should I don't we know. just go for a touchdown? I think I don't know. I'll be honest with you, man. They're definitely not gonna. They're they're definitely taking this to the two man. They're bluffing here. They're not. They're not making this kick. Yeah. Two minute commercial. Hello. What happened? No, I'm just I, I'm just telling them they should blow the whistles already. It, the, it went down to two minutes like <laughs> freaking five seconds ago. Here's the thing. Now, I'm gonna say it right now. Daniel Jones has to prove haters wrong here. He's gonna get the ball oh back. Oh my god! It. If this is if the, if any moment was an Eli moment right now, it's it's this moment right now. This is an Eli moment. Like this is where Eli in his prime would. Completely that people feared Eli in this situation. Eli from twenty, from two thousand eight to like two thousand fifteen, in the fourth or with two minutes left, was the best quarterback in that time period with two minutes left in the fourth. I know he can do it. I I I I I know Daniel Jones can do it. It's just that he can't beat himself. You know, it's and, all, and the this, receivers need to get open. They need to get open. Jason yeah. Garrett needs to call a good game here. Oh, yo, this is going to be amazing. Right after this game is finished, I'm, you know, obviously I'm going to quickly record my reaction. Hopefully it's a happy one. Right. But then I'm a big LeBron fan. I'm going to be watching the finals game six right after. Oh, God. You, you know they're going to win. I don't think the Heat, the Heat, they stuck in there. They stuck in there. But I think we all knew. Game six. Huh? It was already way more entertaining finals than anybody thought it was going to be. Right. Yeah, it is. It is entertaining. But I think at the end of the day, we know who's going to win. I mean, yeah. you know. It's still fun to watch. Like, yo. For sure, yeah. But yo, listen. This is like Daniel Jones's defining moment of the season, right here, bro. This is his moment. This, if any moment was his moment, it's now. We just, we just, listen. Los, An like, like Los Angeles, right? That was an Eli moment against Los Angeles. He just screwed it up at the end. He just can't screw it up this time. He needs to learn from last week. Do exactly what he did. If it's not open, run it. If you have the open lane, and keep the ball moving. Hmm. Come on, this man. This could be the Giants' first win here. What's the chat saying, bro? Uh, Giant Opinion Sports says, I don't see how Dallas signs him after that. Okay, I think they're talking about Dak Prescott. Uh, news just broke. What did it, What news just broke? Uh, oh, he's getting surgery tomorrow, I think. Okay, so his season's over. <laughs> Someone said Andrew Thomas, wide receiver one. <laughs> he's not uh, wrong. Daniel Jones or Daniel gone right now? Oh, okay. If that's a spoiler, I'm gonna kill whoever that is in the chat. Fourth, no, 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 Daniel Jones or Daniel Gone. It's like basically that this play is like Daniel Jones or Daniel Gone. Okay. Fourth, fourth down and nine. Greg the leg, ready to kick this Greg, one off. Bro, it would call, be. Bro. My sister is texting me, who's a Marine all the way in Japan, saying we're super close <laughs> with this bro, game. On, we're super Greg, close. Culture, bro, for the culture, miss the miss the field goal. Right for the culture. Let's get a block here, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's get a block here, baby. Come on. Come on. Valentine coming off the edge. Come on, man. Let's get a block. Miss this. It's not. Oh, my God. It looks so. It looked like it. It looked like it was going to Oh, gonna my God. Oh, it looked like it. We have one timeout in two minutes. We have time. We have time. There's no reason we shouldn't score. Let's <sighs> text the sister back. Can you imagine how much in control the Giants would be right now if we had Saquon Barkley? <laughs> Can you imagine? Right. Oh, my God. If Sterling Shepard was healthy, we don't even have Sterling Shepard on the field. Right. He's on the IR. Oh. <sighs> All right. Let me update the score real quick, guys. Come on. Uh, all right. Dallas scored. Field goal. Oops. There we go. Oops. What am I going to get? All right. 34 34. Right. Who knew we would be in this moment? Who knew? All right. Slayton has been getting looks all game. Golden Tate's been open all game. 
Um, you know, the screens haven't been working all game, but they've been uh, effective in the beginning of the game. Let's try to get all of that working, man. All of it working. Come on. We have to take this one out. Good kick by the are. kicker. Uh, Ballantine, oh my God, gets killed. Gets He's killed. Sure. Now at the 24-yard line. Let's put the chat back up. My heart is beating so hard right now, bro. My heart is like going crazy. I don't know about you, KB. It is like... Hey, yeah, I know. I, I'm... Palms are sweaty. These weak arms are heavy. <laughs> There's vomit I'm about to vomit right now. I'm about to vomit right now. Woo! Let's go, baby. Come on, Giants. Come on, baby. Come on. First and 10 from the Giants' 24-yard line. From the gun. Here's Jones. Takes a snap. Play action. Looking for a man. Oh, my God. Darius Slayton forced something there. That Darius was wants so the flag. Cool. Oh, my God. That could have been picked. Xavier that Woods uh, in coverage. Let me see here. That's most definitely a flag. Most what definitely a flag. Most definitely a flag. Held his... his, oh. his uh, Where is the flag, Chief? Held his uh, chest plate and everything. <laughs> Sisters in the building, you're... Where's the flag, man? <laughs> Come on, bro. Second and ten coming up from the gun. Jones under pressure. Jones looking for a receiver. Ah, uh, get the CD board open. Oh, finds an open man. It's Darius How? Slayton getting out of bounds. How? Oh, oh, That's man. Like First and ten. Darius Slayton, bro, where he's like Antonio Brown in his prime, bro. Tony what a throw! What a throw! Tony Totaps. What a throw! Look oh. at this! Ah. Oh. Oh, what a throw. That's what I'm talking about, Shout out bro. to the sister in the building. Shout wow. out to, to uh, Kid Blue's sister in the building, bro. She says, you're... What a throw, man. That's another great Tony Totap by Darius Slayton, too. We're 17 yards away from field goal. First and 10, a minute 39. Play clock winding down. Take the snap. Jones, looking, looking. Jones, under pressure. Dumping it oh. off for Deion Lewis. Tackled. Uh, Behind the line of scrimmage, but you know what? That We have a lot of time on the clock right now. We have a lot of time on the clock right now. It may be a good thing. I would be surprised if we run the clock down and just end it with a game-winning field goal. Yeah, but we still have to get into Dallas territory here. Let's try to get there. Second and 11. Jones. Takes a snap. Four-man rush. Finds a guy. It's Deion Lewis. Gets out of bounds. About a two-yard gain there, but stops the clock. This is third and long, man. Here we go. Third down and 10. This is seven. difficult. A minute seven. Here we go, Jones. This is your Eli moment, man. Make it a Jones moment. Make it a Daniel Jones moment. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Three come wide on. receiver set. Darius Slayton by himself in the slot. To the left. Play clock runs down to three. Jones takes a snap. It's going to be a huge blitz by the Cowboys. Jones breaks the sack. Looking for anybody to be open. Oh, and he found an open man, but he wasn't able to hit him. Fourth down coming up. Oh. What do you do here, man? You go. You have to go for it. Oh, wait. No, you don't. You don't have to go for it. You could go to overtime. Yeah. Oh, man. Can. Oh, man. Yeah, you can have to punt it. We're going to overtime. Oh, my God. Just could not. Oh, there. Deion Lewis, why'd you why? slip? Why? Why? Yeah, he slipped. going to catch if he didn't slip. He They're slipped. punting it. Why did you slip, Dion? That was a Daniel Jones moment, and it didn't work out. Please drop it. Oh, <laughs> I was like, please drop it. Why did you slip, Dion? Now hey, it's on the defense. Hey, yeah, but listen, this may be a good thing. The Giants have been getting close to getting in. James Bradbury, especially, they might get desperate, mess up, and mess up and throw a pick here. You I never hope it's know. that rather than they get desperate, mess up. Think I mean, about it. Do up, you trust Andy Lamb Dolan to break Listen, free. they're not going to run it. Do you trust Andy Dolan to get down the field with just his arm? They only need to get in field goal range, bro. Right. But still. And they have three timeouts. They do. They do. I don't know. I would have went for it on fourth. I'm No, you can't go for it on fourth. That's a that's a that's a field goal right there. 
Oh, good play by Darnay Holmes, knocking the ball free from C.D. Lamb. Second down and 10, 48 seconds. I want a turnover. I want this game over. I want this game over. Can I get that Logan Ryan pick six? <laughs> yeah, right. Nope. We can really use that dream to come into effect. Can I get that Blake Martinez pick that I also dreamed about? Something. Second down and 10. Dalton Ari takes Co the snap. Amari Finds Cooper. Amari Cooper open. Yeah, he was open. Saying, bro. He's still running. I said it since before the uh. play even went off. There was nobody on this man. I was keeping my eye on him. Nobody was on Amari, bro. All right. They gained about 15 yards there. They still have about 30 left to go. They have two timeouts, though. They still have two timeouts. 39 seconds. I rather CD Lamb had potential to be open. I'd rather them hit Amari there. That's a breakdown in cover two. First and ten. Ooh. First and ten. Forty seconds left. Giants trying to avoid an 0 and 5 start. They need 33 yards to get a field goal range. The Cowboys do. Here we go, guys. First and 10. Dalton in the gun. Takes a snap. Giants send four. Pepper's getting away with a holding call here. Dalton throwing it out and finds an open man. It's Gallup. And it's going to be caught for That's James Bradbury, a huge bro. gain. Huge gain there. Let's see. He definitely got it. Oh, definitely got it. I told you, man. We should have went for it on fourth, bro. Yeah, but this... if, they go, if they go for it on fourth, they're already in field goal range. We lost it there. I mean, there's no chance after that. If they go, they were, we were at our own like 30 or like 35 yard line. There was no way in hell we weren't going to keep them from doing exactly what they did now, like except closer. Why is it under review? Why is it under review? This 100% a catch. That was like 100% a catch. Right there, caught. Done. Done. Caught it. Are they checking if he came down with it? There was a holding call in the pocket, by the way, and the refs who've been calling calls all day haven't uh, called that holding call. I I'm think just they're. Gonna say that. I think they're checking if he came down with. He dropped it. He dropped it. He dropped that ball. Not only did he drop it, KB, but bro, BJ Hill got held on that play and they didn't call it. I'm just gonna say that. The ref was reaching for a flag. You look at it and he didn't throw it. The replay shows the hold yeah. on BJ Hill, bro. Let's see. Or Dexter Lawrence, one out of the two. I think they were trying to quick snap this junk, but let's see. Hold on. Here's the There's game. such Wait, a. Wait, my screen just went blue. My okay. Went blue. Yeah, yours, yours went blue too, right? They're trying to hide it. Freaking refs. Bro, there was a hold on Dexter Lawrence or BJ Hill, one out of the two, and the refs didn't call it. Oh my God! Wait, I don't care about their feet. Look who like, he dropped it when he came down on the ground. What are they doing? Not even that, KB. This wouldn't even be a thing if what you would call it. If goddamn they called the holding call, bro. The refs, the these refs, bro. Can we see these the full refs. replay? I think he dropped it. These referees, bro, that's a holding call. That's, that's what I'm looking at. He may have dropped it. I'm looking at the fact that there was a holding call that wasn't, there was no flag. When he came down to the ground and hit the ground, it looked like that ball was was bobbling on the ground. All right, now can we see the, oh, my God. Can we see the whole catch, please? Oh, my. Can we see the whole freaking catch? It stands. That's a holding on Dexter Lawrence that wasn't called. Everybody. No, that look, even Tony B, a Cowboys fan in the chat, is seeing that there was a terrible hold. There was a holding call that was missed, bro. This game is over. 31 seconds. Left to go. First down and 10. Three wide receivers set. Dalton takes a snap. Four man rush. By him. Oh, oh my God. No freaking way. He caught that. Yeah. Good game, guys. Good game, everybody. Good game. There's no. Michael Gallup. All I'm what saying. What a catch. If the refs did not call. If the refs called the hole, bro. 
What a freaking catch. Called Good game. Whole... Good game. Ryan Lewis. I knew, I knew they would eventually target Ryan Lewis. Hey! He's... Wait, did his foot go out of bounds? When he made the catch, did his foot go out of bounds? Did I just say that, goddamn, there was a hold that wasn't called? I am so done with I know, but we can't dwell on it now, man. We can't dwell on it. This defense sucks right now. I'm just going to say that. Defense hold on, hold on, hold on. sucks. <sighs> it's probably going to stand. It's going to stand, but he... Oh, he was so close to freaking making that out of bounds. I don't know. Oh, it's not technically in his possession yet. Ryan Lewis, just stay on your feet for two seconds, man. Stay on your feet for two seconds. What are the odds? Michael Gallup gets two plays and he's barely in bounds. What are the odds? What kind of pylon cam is that? It's going to be a catch. I, I, how did I know? I, told, I said in the beginning, I, they're going to target Ryan Lewis sometime. Freaking liability. All right. This kick is crucial, man. This kick is crucial. There's no way he's missing. This is a chip shot. Yeah, it's a chip shot. Look at Ratley. If only, if only Ratley, if only you didn't have that screen call. That pick. Saying that, you know what I'm saying? We we had people in the chat even saying that there was a holding call, bro. Greg the Leg has been known to miss field goal winners at with the Rams. So let's see here. First down and 10. This is the game. Oh, uh, my dad just spoiled the game for me. Oh, man. Yeah. Because we didn't see it. He, he didn't know that we did, that we're behind. I don't know why he came out and said it. Good game, guys. The holding call, bro. Oh, my God. That was so close to being no good. The holding call, bro. Yeah. The holding call, bro. The goddamn holding call. It was close. That's Valiant effort. Bro. Valiant effort. These reps, bro. The holding call. That was our only chance to really win this game, man. That I mean, I mean, that was our only chance to win a game this year, honestly. Washington, we still got a chance, but God, that was so close to being no good. So close. Look at that. Probably two feet. Two feet from being no good. Oh. And you know what? I can't blame people, and I'm going to say it because I know it's going to come up. <sighs> Game's over, guys. Game's over. Good game. Very good game. It is what it is. That game was given to the Cowboys. Yeah, it was. It was. I it was wouldn't a say bunch of calls that didn't go our way. It's gonna come up, but here's the thing: I can't blame people. People are gonna bring up the fact that DJ had two minutes, he had a timeout, and he could not capitalize and get it yeah. into the end zone. Yeah. And I can't blame them for saying that. I yeah, just want to bring that up. Yeah, right. Yep. My God. All right, guys. Well, that is the game. I'm uh, going to be making my uh, video on it pretty soon. should be out later tonight. I have off tomorrow, thank God. So uh, we'll be able to dwell on it together, guys. And I'll be able to sleep uh, with, uh, you know, tears running down my eyes. So, um, is what it is, guys. All right, any final words, Hub? Nah. <laughs> nah. All right, guys, for the Hub. It's Kid Blue. This has been the Giant Stream. We are out of here. See you guys later.